Welcome to show home, yeah. huh. Welcome to show home, yeah. hey. Welcome to show home, yeah. we glad you here today. Another AMA, ask me anything. Super chat is cool if you wanna pay to play. Like and subscribe, that's what we really appreciate. Let me introduce you to the tear down king. Mike McNutter, that's your questions, he'll answer anything. ATM, you know where them put them graphics on the screen. Glad you tapped in now, stay tapped in for the team. Hey, everything is posted. Go follow the socials. South Harmon FF tag is it, we get notice. Welcome to South Harmon, we glad you here today. Huh? Welcome to South Harmon, we glad you here today. Another AMA. Welcome to South Harmon, we glad you here today. We are glad you're here today, Wednesday night AMA, as you can see, joined by our great, great friend, Mr. Matty Kiwoom. Those of you who know, it's Matty Double Tap. It'll always be Matty Double Tap from here to eternity. <laughs> you know, it's fantastic. You know. Matty, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Dude, I'm doing great, okay? We are in the middle of startup season. We are now, like, in the damn thing when it comes to the... NFL draft season, rookie se- draft season is just going to be around the corner. It feels like fantasy football is already getting on and popping. What we need now is a viral tweet for Mike over here to yes. bring in the official fantasy season to, like last year. To start the I'll season. Try. Yeah. I'll try. Maybe I can go out and pick a fight with Chris Sims because he released his quarterback ranks. And if you know anything, <laughs> just take exactly what Chris Sims and do, do the opposite because he's fucking terrible at it. Absolutely yeah. horrible. Every year he does quarterback ranks. Uh, it's the a, master, it, master engager. He's the it, master of it. About it's, it, you. it's good for AMA with South Harmon, right? I think it's like the non-traditional shitter material. You know, you could just get rid of it when you leave, too. That's what I. That's good. Think That's it. good, man. He's got Drake May quarterback <laughs> six, man. So you know he's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> I will say, Mike, I'm I'm a little surprised. Um, Drake May is becoming way more polarizing than I thought he would be, honestly. Well, some people are good at this. Some people are bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> you, it's a we, we're drawing a line. Oh, that yeah. That time of year, guys. <laughs> it's that time of year. Maddie, will you set the people straight with Drake May? It. Come on. Will you set them straight? He, he, all right, so Drake May is and always will be the second best quarterback in this class now. If – the, the Washington Commanders decide to take Jaden Daniels. That's probably a preference of Cliff Kingsbury wanting a um, there you go. uber mobile quarterback. But come on, guys. Like, don't nitpick Drake May. Drake May is a few pounds, some development away from looking a lot like Josh Allen. He's got that cowboy in him. He's got the rocket arm. We're seeing now 600-yard rushing seasons at UNC where he only had 10 games with Tez Walker. And I'm going to be honest with you, Tez Walker's been one of my followers in the rookie ranking. So the fact that he's been productive for two years at UNC, like let's not overthink these things. And even when you look at Chris Sims' cockamamie rankings, he has him at six as a high-end rec- like a high-end project. Since when does that make you worse off than a boring higher-floor 28-year-old in Bo Nix? I don't understand. <laughs> I will well, admit he's a franchise quarterback, right? Chris Sims, Rick Bo <laughs> Nix is a franchise quarterback. <laughs> I, I, I will admit, like man. it feels, it feels like, it feels like I've seen rankings like this before, where, like I know Sims doesn't even believe six, but it's his way of letting people <laughs> know he's out on a certain person, right? Yeah. I feel like I've seen this happen before. I'm not sure where, but I feel like I've seen it before. Never. I don't. I can't. You know, can't put my finger. Never. Right well, the yeah. other news of the day. It's not official, but but it's all in fantasy space. Matthew Barry breaking the news that Joe Mixon is going to be cut by the Bengals. Barry so, leaks. Hey, there we go, there we go. Matt Barry leaks. I love it. I love it, Adam. All <laughs> right, so I got to ask you. We'll, we'll start with Matty. Joe Mixon. Where do you see him potentially going in free agency? If if Matthew Barry's right, which I have no reason to believe he's not. Kind of seems logical they'd move on from. Old It'd be Joe. a wild out of pocket move to do this for your first like announcement, you know? That'd be crazy. Yeah, what? <laughs> this is where you want to put. <laughs> but hey, we saw a guy at the combine go full clown mode with the. No, I mean, yeah, Caleb Williams question. So I just yeah, go ahead, Matty. Well, yours. I was I was there for that uh, last week. I think I saw it from your Twitter account, if I remember right. Matter of fact, it was um, <laughs> Dustin Ludke. Uh, I had just been introduced to him the day before. And we're doing the the media scrums, and obviously Caleb has an army in front of him, a straight army. 
Right. And I go, I'm not, I'm not, I'll get a picture. I'll take. I'll get a sound bite for Player Pro. I'm gonna keep walking around. We'll try to get some uh, questions and elsewhere. So the, the 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 session gets out. The scrum dissipates, and I I bump into those guys. I'm like, hey, did any of you get anywhere close to uh, Caleb? He goes, I asked him the first question, and I was like, you got the first question in on Caleb Williams, and he was like, yeah, man, I asked him about his compete and all this stuff, and I was like, damn, and little did I know that it would become the Fire. absolute firestorm that it became, polarizing over five million views. You know, people uh, taking stances on it. No one couldn't stop. Lance Zerline chimed in. It was wild. It was. It's absolutely insane. It's so insane to put Adam <laughs> on mute. That's how bad it was. Yeah. I, I don't want to be like Barry and, uh, you know, make make crazy claims out here. Uh, it was it was fun to see him, like, really take a, take that on and just uh, run with it. It was fun to see that, like, energy out of him. I, I agree with uh, Matt. Matty Kelly said this on, on the Mind of Mansion with Alex Dunlap. Like, don't delete it. He shouldn't have deleted it. Dustin, you shouldn't have deleted it. I know it wasn't. You didn't say it right. I know you were getting sh- buckets and buckets and buckets of shit. But don't delete it. Stand by it. Don't delete it. Five million. Now you can't even make any money off Elon. He couldn't make it you here. It. You see all this shit. You did it. Like, live with it. <laughs> you went viral. You know it'll dissipate, it. and maybe you, you could like uh. Do so, I don't know, but I wouldn't have deleted it. You got to take it. But I saw him the next day. He's like, hey, fellas, can I sit with you? We were like, I don't know, buddy. You got to sit about two rows back. We were obviously yeah, kidding. He, and he was he like, got the hey, leprosy, you know, bro. He kept saying, like, you know, I, it's not bothering me. I put it on mute. And to his credit, it didn't seem like it. But then five minutes later, he's like, hey, do you, you guys see what those 40 times are? We're like, you haven't been paying attention? Sounds like this is definitely still weighing on you, brother. Dang. Oh, yeah. All right. Back on the rails a little bit. Where would Joe I don't know be? about that. This is AMA. <laughs> no, that's true. Dude, what do you say, Mike? Sorry, I'm still sober. Where's Joe Mixon landing, Maddie? Like, if you got to pick one, what's the best spot for him? Doesn't all roads for running back in the free agent class go through Houston and then maybe followed by Chicago? These are the teams that have the premier cap space. The teams that may be in line to uh, what is that, Garrison Brothers? It looks wow, good. I I'll admit, Nathan, looks good. What is that? I really am a fan of. Making this a nickname. Go ahead. Sorry, Matty. Don't mean to keep cutting you <laughs> shit off. Pants, shit pants. Is, <laughs> what shit pants drink? Is, that is. Thank you, Nathan, for that one because I'm going to use that. I'm actually going to use that tomorrow. I'm going to text Cody. Hey, Bam. shit pants, what are you up to today? See? Boom. Going viral. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it doesn't all roads for this rookie class. It starts with Houston. They're on the precipice of competing. They got a little bit of funny money that they can play with at the running back position. Will it be Mixon? Will it be Saquon? Will it be Pollard? We'll guess we'll have to see where the pricing comes from in terms of the market for the running backs. Love it, love it, Adam. You got any thoughts? Any place that you'd like to see Joe wind up? Um, I mean, I, I think there's a fair amount of places where I, I don't know, Mike. Honestly, if I'm being real, like I don't know if he gets if there's anywhere that he can go that gives him what he got at, at Cincy last year. Frankly, now, I mean, I think there's places that are good offenses that he could go. Like I could see him being. Um, in Minnesota, and if w- with mm-hmm. all the weapons there, I think that like he could end up being a, a guy that has a lot of touchdowns. I wouldn't like it for Ty Chandler, but I would like it for Joe Mixon. So, um, I I think there's a lot of places. I don't know. I, f- I kind of feel like Minnesota would be a nice one. I could buy that one. One that pops to yeah. my mind is if what if uh, Dallas does bring back Tony Pollard and they sign Joe Mixon on the cheap, man. Nice little mm-hmm. one-two punch. Good compliments to each other. Joe Mixon can just be that hammer <laughs> late in his career. Get back to the, uh, you know, when, before Zeke left and when Mixon probably is a little bit better step yeah, right now. Him. No offense to Rico Dottle, but I don't think you're really that dude. <laughs> so, how man. dare you? Look at Mike. He, all right. He ready how about to the, fight uh, somebody tonight, man. This how about Drake the May stuff getting to him. How about the $85 million man? And by $85 million, I mean dead cap hit. Russell Wilson. Brother. Where's he I like? mean. Is he like a cat? Does he land on his feet? I honestly think it's crazy that because I I think he now what what's wild is not only does he get his way he gets out but he's gonna have that like his pick of the litter with no steps in the way this time so I don't know I mean it's it just seems crazy to me that this is really where we're at like they just traded for this cat two years ago and gave up you know the whole world and I guess like maybe not quite as much as Trey Lance as far as they at least got a couple snaps out of him but uh, woof. I, I'd like to see, I'd like to see Vegas gets to stick it to the Broncos and Sean Payton. You know, he seems like a petty guy. 
Uh, Vegas probably out of the range of getting a quarterback without having to massively trade up. So, can I tell you if I had to pick like odds wise, if I was going to bet, um, it just feel like I, I could really see Tomlin and, and the Steelers and going you know old school and we don't want to bring in a rookie. Let's bring in Russell Wilson. This guy's a vet. He'd be perfect for this locker room. I don't know if that's actually the case, but just you know, kind of. I, I I just I, I could see yeah. that one being the case. That 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 feels really strong to me. Well, if there's anybody the out there that Russ might respect and actually like <laughs> adhere to, you know, put put the mm-hmm. shit aside, it should be Mike Tomlin. Well, Mike you know, Tomlin's going to check him, man. You know, there's no bullshit over there, you know. There's a reason mm-hmm. Tomlin's been so successful over the years, man. Players love him for a reason. He's fair, but he's also a hard ass. Which yeah, he kept he love. kept AB in line for so long that as soon as he got out of there, he was ready to fucking go wild. You know, <laughs> Le'Veon, same thing. Like he kept him in line as long as he could. You know, you think about like the receivers too, like the, I mean, freaking Martavius, Martavius Bryant, Bryant, like just. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ben Roethlisberger was out there wilding, fellas. To keep that thing on the rails in could any capacity imagine, is. Could you crazy. imagine George Pickens playing anywhere else now? I mean, no, I'm, no because. Mike, he's either in a Steelers jersey or right in front of that TV for me for all time. You know, that's just that's the only places I can see him. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie, what about you? What do you think? Uh, dangerous is going to wind up. I think he. Oh, would you like I think it is Pittsburgh. I think it is Pittsburgh. I think schematically it fits. Mm-hmm. I think it gives him the little bit of a slot receiver and then a deep threat, something that he's kind of been good with in the past. Uh, he'll have a locker room that he doesn't have to come in and be the guy. Uh, clearly, that wasn't his strong suit going to Denver. You heard the rumors of the Russ personal office and all this other stupid stuff. Uh, I think all that kind of goes by the wayside because you can't be an $80 million, $85 million dead cap it and walk like into a new building like you're the cock of the walk. Tomlin, the offense, and I also think Arthur Smith uniquely fits this kind of conservative approach with a guy like Russ where he won't be a, a, a massive fantasy producer on a week-in and week-out basis, but he could be that depth piece uh, that you may need in a pinch that could get you, you know, past a certain threshold uh, if he gets the touchdowns that day. And I'm okay with that. I think um, – now, I don't. we'll see how it goes, but I think at least initially he walks in like unlimited – you gotta be unlimited. <laughs> He's got Sierra. I mean, you that, gotta that have dude, respect. That dude, I don't think. I don't think that dude is gonna just get normal, you know, tomorrow. But t- I think Tomlin might be able to snap him into it, you know. Well, I wonder if Tomlin hits him with the the uh, the Billy Bean money ball line. No, no, Broncos are paying half your salary. Damn, and the Broncos are paying eighty five million dollars for you to play against them. <laughs> That's what they think about you. I, I like it. I like. I like where your head's at. That is, is. That's real. Is there is there any other spots you think that are not necessarily even realistic, but obviously that, but uh, that you think would be good fits or could happen? Patriots have always I, kind of seemed like yeah, that, right? I agree. Maddie's I the Pates guy, the though. There. So, yeah. You think oh, Maddie, is that what? Do you like it, or would you rather them take one at three? I, I I'm kind of wor- I'm working on my mock three point right now, and we're getting more and more uh, uh, of a drumbeat here in New England that they may be the team that uh, kind of comes out of the weeds for Justin Fields. That's the route I want them to take. Um, sure you do. I also, Absolutely. I, I also, uh, you know, they're saying now Elliot Wolf, the new team builder out here, he wants to go into the first draft and leave with, quote, a stockpile of picks. And I think at three, he's going to be able to hold, you know, the Vikings, the Broncos, the Raiders, their feet to the fire, get – a pretty big return that could be as much as 10 spots difference for a franchise quarterback. They can move back now. The I think the alpha elite situation is gone, come and gone, which would have been to trade back and take McCarthy and then sign a, a Russell Wilson to kind of uh, just be that bridge guy to da- J.J., but I think now we're seeing that helium behind McCarthy way, 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 way too strong, and I think now we see him go any, possibly top six, top seven. Uh, so now the Patriots for me, I think the I, I want them to go fields and trade back and get picks. Russell going there and then I don't know, get, tr- signing Russ and drafting a receiver does not feel good. Doesn't feel like it would work out. It doesn't feel good. It feels icky. Nathan, so, I guess I guess I'll ask a question back. We appreciate the super chat by the way. Money's flying and um, I mean I don't know. Do, do these teams like their franchise like? I mean, I don't know. We saw what what happened in Denver was a disaster. I'm not sure that everyone should be yeah. lining up at the door, but I, I get it. Yeah, there's ten. There's there's probably ten teams that don't have a quarterback situation. But 
I, I'm more amazed that he, he played pretty damn well, at least in my mind, last year with the shitstorm that obviously was brewing in that locker room, right? All the reports that have come out now, them being so willing to just say, fuck you and get out. <laughs> right. We'll take an $85 million hit just to move on. Even though our only option that we have right now is Jared Stidham. <laughs> this that, is I, disgusting. But he still, he, he by all accounts, man, no matter really what you look at, he, he played well for fantasy purposes and NFL purposes. And at the end of the year, where they're still in uh, playoff contention, they're like, nah, fuck this. I mean, but Mike, <laughs> it feels Stidham, like. White flag, feel, we're done. It feels like the whole, um, you know. Colts Jonathan Taylor situation had it really gone wrong and uh Ooh, like it actually it, it came to fruition. Like there's only one team that think about you could have those feelings, right? I mean, I've been on teams, I'm sure we've all been in situations where you know the people that you're dealing with on a day-to-day basis that you fucking hate their guts. But you yeah. you, you grow up and you deal with it, right? The, even no. if you have that case, Mike, th- there's two games and you have a chance to make the playoffs. There's there's a lot on the line for the franchise, for the fans, for all the people in the locker room, and you're like, nah, we're bigger than that. We're gonna fight this out to the point where you're sitting. That like that's something had to be going on. I don't know who's right, who's wrong, but that's just crazy to think that that happened in that locker room. I think that's what I'm saying overall. It's hard to see that happen like all the way through, where you don't you want to break up after the year or whatever, but you're not gonna at least give your give all these guys a chance to make the the playoffs. That's crazy to me. Just a question too, though. Maybe, maybe Sean Payton isn't as good as a coach as we thought to. I mean, maybe possibly. he was propped up by the fact that Drew Brees is a Hall of Famer. He's not just a Hall of Famer. I mean, he's got, you know, the 5,000 yards. He's got like half of it. One of the best quarterbacks ever. Like yeah. Maybe he changed the game for a guy who had a noodle on. Imagine then, you know, you get Russell Wilson, who's, I mean, is he Drew Brees? No, but is he <laughs> damn good quarterback and you're, I, I don't understand though too. Like, what do you do? You, do you honestly think Russell Wilson's going to just take a pay cut with two games left? Like, it's it's wild to me. What do you think is going to happen? It's a wild thing. Isn't yeah, Sean, no Sean Payton? Isn't Sean Payton just like a sexier version in the mind of us, like uh, than Mike McCarthy? Right? It's like you only won one Super Bowl with fucking Aaron Rodgers for fuck's sake, right? Sean Payton, you only won one Super Bowl with Drew Brees, even though your team sold out to win it every single year. Draft capital contracts whatever you left that team in disarray in a fucking disaster you got one super bowl out of it like good you got one super bowl but uh now like what have you done since kind of like maybe the the bill belichick thing a little bit maddie you're a new england guy it's like it was a real conversation there is it bill or is it tom right who's who's gets credit you saw what happened after tom left it was like uh yeah i think it was tom (laughs) i can think it was tom (laughs) The boring answer is that it was a perfect marriage, but the true answer is one guy left and won a Super Bowl. One guy doesn't have a job right now. One guy turned to Cam Newton and then Mac Jones and then Bailey Zappi and uh, he couldn't get anything going. Well, I mean, listen, there's been a lot of teams that miss a quarterback, but it's hard to miss a whole team. This guy seemingly turned your entire roster into dust. Like, I, it was wild year by year. It got worse. It's just hard to see that happen over and over. I mean, for fuck's sake, oh, Dougie. Yeah. Dougie P got a Super Bowl, and then Philly ran him out of town a few years later. And it's not like we look at him as some savant, even though he brought the Eagles their first ever Super Bowl. Didn't and, matter. And, Matt, and Matty <laughs> knows like the leash that Bill Belichick had kind of earned, and uh, how long it took to deteriorate to the point where, like, all right, I think Father Time, it's time, it's time to move on. You know. Yes. Mm-hmm. There should be a lot of teams, in my opinion, though, interested in Russ. You know, okay, let, let's let's price. walk through it. It's a super chat. How many teams? Let's let's do it. Let's do a count. Let's do a count. Start at the count top of the draft, baby. All right. So not the Bears. I was gonna say that's the Commanders. <laughs> no. Okay. Pat, so yes. Okay, just because they have so many holes to fill. Yep. Okay, so you got the Patriots. Um, what else? I wouldn't say the Cardinals, Giants. They're no. they're ready to move on. Cardinals, no. no. Uh, Falcons, yes, definitely. I, I Falcons, think the Falcons absolutely. are a player. They could be, especially if they don't feel like they're going to get one. Vikings with Russ, potentially. I, if they, I lose think I Kirk. think it could. I, it'd be interesting to see that switch. Like, feels like you're you already kind of have that with Kirk. But if you like Russ better, sure. But you, remove you, one dork, we, bring we, in another dork. 
We also don't know if Russ is getting like a full deal. This could be a Baker Mayfield situation, right? Where it's like, hey, it's yeah. four and a half mil. <laughs> I kind of feel like to compete. it could be, and maybe in the right situation. I just I remember how you know Russ really worked that contract out with Seattle. I I kind of take the over on him, you know, taking a friendly deal. But maybe I'm wrong. It could be. I hope he just goes full heel because I'll also throw Seattle. Just go back to fucking Seattle, man. <laughs> but hey, but hey, but the situ- the coaching situation is finally different, right? Maybe he does. That'd be that'd be actually kind of crazy. Just post on Guess Sierra's Instagram, home. you know, the I'm coming home. What would be sweet is if he didn't even ask. He just like shows up. I'm coming back. Just show- <laughs> like, hey, what's up, Gino? Sorry, boss. Peace. We can get out. <laughs> um, all right, so we got <laughs> Seattle, <laughs> Seattle, Vegas, Vegas, for Pittsburgh. sure, Vegas. Um, you got the Vikings in there, right? Denver yep. needs a quarterback, guys. <laughs> like maybe hey, maybe afterwards they renegotiate. Just to you know, <laughs> you got you gave me the eighty five up front. Now we can talk. Now you're not a quarterback with all the money on on the books. You're a dead cap guy. That's all we wanted. I don't. I feel like uh, so we said we said Falcons. What about the Saints? Yeah. But the only problem is their the only problem is their cap their salary cap is an absolute. Right. Train man, it's a nightmare. Oh, but yeah. the, they just They're keep pushing ball. it back. They could, I could see them just say, "Hey, we'll just one day we're gonna be like 150 million under the cap and or over the imagine, cap, and we're just gonna just." You imagine Derek Carr and Russ on the same team, man. Talk about opposite dudes, man. <laughs> just opposite dudes. I feel like Derek it's Carr the. Like, I feel like it's Derek that gift. Is, same. Derek Carr is like all team, like rah rah rah, almost to a point it makes you sick. Right, watching the hard knocks with him on the Raiders, it was like you suck up like so hard. <laughs> like it's almost <laughs> disgusting how much like team 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 you know and then russ all by all accounts is like nah man i need my own office <laughs> i need to do this i only want to practice on wednesdays <laughs> like, <laughs> so what the fuck that'd be great and imagine then, and then hard knocks needs to do new orleans saints for the like i want to see it must see TV. The rivals. Imagine giving a guy like a corner office as a player and then being like, yeah, we we, we want you to give back all that money. <laughs> yeah, there's probably no fucking chance in the end, though. But it's um, funny to think about. So what are we at, like seven teams? Tampa Bay could be an option if they can't bring Baker back. Yeah, I feel like they're going to, but I could, I could see that as a backup plan, yeah. Right. Um, That's really about it, though. Is Nikki? there a world where the Dolphins... Oh. Could show interest if they t- if they find out that the number they're too far off on the Tua extension. Could they bring could in, be. or is Mike White g- enough for them? No, Mike White's terrible. Sorry, that's Eric. that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it, it's long shot, but maybe, maybe go down. Then it opens up. Sierra would love it down there. Maybe, uh, oh, yeah. you know, maybe Haslam's ready to open the checkbook for another fully guaranteed contract again. You know, Fucking Let's mix this Sierra thing up in Miami. Sign me up, man. <laughs> I'd fucking, I'd be for that. I love Tua too. Can I, Season tickets. Can I say, Mike, that like I, I agree with you? I just it doesn't even have to be Miami. Just wait. I'm a ready. Put my Dolphins hat, man. Maddie getting me all excited, man. Speaking of Maddie getting me all excited, <laughs> Maddie's getting the people all excited. And uh, Castle Black says there are many awesome South Harmon visitors. Maddie Double Tap is number one in my book. Happy Yeehaw, Wednesday, fellas. Castle Black, you are the man. What up? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, you're bringing it in. You come, Mike, and I come here every week, and it's you know we, we're number no two and three. Fuck yeah, exactly, you know. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> Mike, guess. I mean, guess. I guess I'm just not used to it. They tried to make you shit your pants. You already know. I, I'm, st- did, I'm finding out now. But it's, I, I, I respect. <laughs> if I'm gonna lose out, it should be to Maddie. I'm with you. See, buddy. I think, I, I think am. Maddie missed that one. By yeah, what's the shit pants? Let me hear the shit pants here. Oh like, wait, I, I hold up, for real? Oh man, that was um. Two AMAs. Mike, Mike, I'll let you tell you tell the story. I think you're the So I'm big into uh to Zen now. The Zen. You know. Cody, your your He's... your podcast partner, <laughs> the executives. He showed me the he... rogues in Indy, the rogues. All right, all right. Well, listen, all right, the the three mils or the four mils that he's rocking, you know, that's child's play. All right. I'm a it six was a mil three mil. Right. Oh so then because you're a long cut guy, right? Yeah, yeah. But so I'm, that, I'm trying to you, I'm trying to cut that six. out. All right. So I okay. started at six, right? And then, I, you know, I got some interest, you know, like, what else is What's six there? times like, 11? Like, well, hold on, Adam. <laughs> so I go out, and uh, me and my buddy at work, we find some uh, some 20s, right? You pop a 20, and it's like a whole new experience. You're like, whoa, 
Like, is this even legal? <laughs> like, there's no way I should be driving <laughs> after I take one of these. Like, that's Come how on, good Simon, it is. Simon, let me bust his balls. So I then know. I go down the rabbit hole, right? And I find this like foreign company comes from Sweden or Poland or Finland. You know, one of those countries. No offense to you guys. I'm I'm not fluent. I'm a stupid American. But anyways, so he gets some. They got these ones that are 66 milligrams, Maddie, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm a boss, I'm going to try it. And you know what? I'm going to try the first one on the AMA two weeks ago. (laughs) So we sit down. This thing is like black as night, too. Like, these are white, you know. They're white. Pure pure white, you know. That one is pure black. So I pop the thing. Within five minutes, I know I'm fucked. (laughs) I I know he's fucked because I'm telling you right now, I'm like, all right. He's I'm like a space half guy. awake, half aware. I gotta like be sweating? very direct and ask him. Oh, I'm hot as shit. He man, definitely I was sweating. Yes. He's got that cap on, so you can't see it dripping, right. and he's got those shades yeah. too. So it's like you can I, see. My I definitely eyes, think he was the pupils like that big. He was much more <laughs> covered up and protected than he should have been given the situation. But yeah. So, so, anyways, like nicotine itself, you know, when I when I do a twenty or so, like I gotta poop immediately. Like mm-hmm. it is a natural diuretic for me. It's probably not natural, but it's a diuretic. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, a laxative. I it's synthetic, go but we'll, yeah. Same. But it's the AMA, right? So we get towards the end of the AMA, you know, I, I say I got to poop. And, of course, a super chat comes across. And Adam's like, you can't go poop because there's a super chat. You can't do that to the we people. Have- and I'm like, well, that's a that's a fair deal. You know, I'm not going to leave them hanging on a super chat because I got a turtle head poking out. Chat just goes fucking ballistic, okay? Chat goes ballistic, and there's, like, fucking super chat after super chat after super chat. It is, like, an extra 45 minutes here. I'm sitting here just about to shit my fucking pants from this 66 milli that I'm on Mars with. You know, like, in between nauseous, sweating, high as fuck. Uh, I got to poop like crazy. Like, just get me the fuck off this stream. And chat's like, nah, nah, you guys made the rules. Super chat. You can't go anywhere. Well, so, I mean, uh, what do you, what he's calling me Judas on stream as I'm <laughs> literally helping our patrons get their questions answered. Calling yes. me, it's my fault. He's telling me that I'm a traitor. Meanwhile, you decided to pop it and you live with your consequences. They wanted to see you shit. What do you want me to do? I, I do it for the people, all right? He is fucking out here leaving me in the trenches taking grenades. I'm John. literally I'm literally <laughs> trying to make sure that everyone gets their money's worth. They're helping contribute to this cause. And Mike's over here, get me out of here. I got a shit. Like, come on, man. Shout out to the chat, though. Shout out to the chat. That's, it was, that's awesome. That's awesome and hazing right there. That's awesome broing out. That's perfect. M- Maddie, I will admit, like, it was probably, it was up there in the proudest <laughs> I've ever been in the community. It's, it's coming yes. together on one accord. It was like. It's every time that I said anything bad about Brock Purdy, they're like, yeah, bet, motherfucker. <laughs> I will say, like, to the point Mike was making, he was very much Russ in that, that time, and I was more the, the Derek Carr. I was all about the team. He was totally being selfish, but what are we going to do? I needed you know? my needed own office. get to his quarter office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they all made, off. they all voted if he had to, if he had to shit where it would go, but we never got there, unfortunately. Um, anyway. It was terrible. So wouldn't that be on brand though for for shit? I think so. Oh, the yeah. South Harmon Institute, I, like, wouldn't that be on brand to shit your pants on the street? How, how do you not get a dude wipe sponsorship if you did that on air? I have no dude. idea, man. Why have they still not they, reached out? The fuck. I, even I'm, the story, let alone, should get get them interested. Right. I South feel like it's Harmon. rhetorical before that, but yeah, I'm with you. Like, yeah. This is a yes. locked up deal. Not just shit my pants, covered in shit. but you know what'll help me clean it up? Dude wipes. I don't know if Introducing you guys saw. New menthol. I don't know if you guys saw. Mike Mike got a uh, a new avatar, right? He got that um, the AI tear down king. It's pretty sweet. But I will say, it would have been cool because that would all be gone and it would be shit pants for real, and we'd have to get him a new Abby <laughs> with like pants. shit pants. But all no, right, let's get to pretty- questions, man. We we're out here dilly dally into the fullest. I I could see this. I mean, it's already off the rails, but shit it's... stream, yeah, Nathan, yeah. shit stream, baby. <laughs> All right, the shit stream. Let's see Mm-mm-mm. what we got. Well, it's it's early, buddy. You sure you don't want to pop one of those sixty six again? Have you tried one since? Have you given it another go? So did you not see two? I took him to work, and I told my uh, dude my that buddy. was just that wasn't right. By the way, well, he knew what he was getting into. It right, he's had a thirty three with me before. And that's not real. a 66 that's the, uh, he doesn't know what he's getting into to be fair right <laughs> I, I told him and i showed him the fucking video all right i showed him the video from the night before and i said this is wild and he hit me with the i ain't fucking scared now he's a big dude he's even bigger than i am like we probably weigh pretty close to the same but he's also like six four six five adam he's like your height we okay baby yeah and then it 
you know, big dude. Like, he can handle himself. And I'm like, are you sure? And I'm like, just smell it. it. smells like pure ammonia, motherfucker. Like, I don't know. The <laughs> only picture you've ever sent me of him, it didn't look like he could handle himself. I saw the uh, the, to- the trash so can it, head over. Anyways, he said he can handle himself, and I told him everything. I was completely honest. I was like, there was times I wanted to throw up. I definitely had to shit. I'm sweating. I'm high as fuck. And he's like, I got it. You know, that's child's play. So he puts it in. And with five minutes, he turns and looks at me. He goes, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, yeah. You're feeling it now, ain't you, pal? He's sitting there. At 10 minutes, he takes it out of his mouth, throws it in the fucking trash. And he's like heavy breathing. And then the next thing I look over, I couldn't even get my phone out fast enough because it was perfect. He is yakking in the trash can. Like his entire breakfast is out. I really wanted a video. Like, I thought it would have been a great promo for Cuba, the brand. Like, I could have sent that in and get a sponsorship. Like, Cuba, so strong, it'll make you throw up at work on a Tuesday. <laughs> if you, if you're, ready to, if you're ready to leave work and go home sick, we got you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Instantaneous. So, anyways, fast forward, Maddie. Trust me, when we go to the expo, I'm bringing those, man. We're going to see who, who's got it. Like, who wants to ride hey, the pony me. with me? Hey, me. Amy, I'm gonna get I know Cody to do it. Instantly. I swear to God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ridicule Cody until he does it. We're gonna get Cody Carpenter to do one at the expo. See, oh, dude, my see, I'm just turning, just thinking about it. See, the fact you, is, you like, think you're a power lifter? Power lift this. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> All right, this is. Mike is just like he's still angry about this. I don't know if it's Drake May, if it's the shit pants. Something's got him a little fired up. I, I kind of like it, but. Yeah, how Chris Sims is a fucking clown, man. Nobody ever just says it outright. Why do you take nice. clowns serious, though? They're clowns. Like I don't take know. them serious. He's just oh, okay. a fucking clown. Uh, I'm not sure who we're talking about specifically, but I, I it's, it's probably true, honestly. Most guys won't be the starter next year. Um, even Russ wasn't the starter next year. What are we doing with guys like Cup this time of year? Can't even get a 25, four, 24 or 25 second for him. Why are you trying to get a 25 second for him? I'm with you, Adam. Why are you doing with that? I mean, what are we doing? It's uh, if this is the uh, if the alternatives are I can't get this. There's one thing I'm doing with Cooper Cup. Hold on, hold on, diamond hands. Hold-o. Somebody got mad at me, Mike, Hold-o. on uh, on my BDG video because I said diamond handing, and they're like, "We're supposed to know what that means." I was, I guess maybe I'm a degenerate. I I thought what? everybody kind of knew what that was, but I don't know. Come on, man. Out of all the, the communities. Uh, of all yeah. the communities in the whole fantasy space, the BDGE community I mean, after, it, you know, the Big Dog I, Bash, the, the NI, NI, NFT, I thought they would get true. that. That's well, true. That I was would. a whole thing. By the way, I'm not mad. I'm just, you know, I'm not I'm not, I'm not, not t- calling you out. I'm just, I was surprised. That's all. Um, yeah. yeah, that's terrible. I was kind of surprised. How did they not know that? I mean, I guess I, I don't know. Frankly, Mike, it's on me. Um, Listen, when I hear terms I don't know, I go to Google, and usually they're like Urban Dictionary terms, and I'm like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> sometimes people, sometimes people are like Mike, though. They just want to yell hands, and get. What did get, you get, be that bad? I said South Harmon visitor, you clowns! Come on, Castle, you. All right, listen. I, I will say for the OG OGs, if you don't know by now that our language of letting you know we love you is to fuck with you. <laughs> I don't know no. what else to say. You guys all held Mike hostage and tried to make him shit his pants. <laughs> like we do that. That's that's my way of letting you know that I that I love you. Like that's my little you know. But uh, it's all right. I understand. You know, we'll get yeah, there. I'm we'll just, we'll get back there one day, Castle Black. I love I, you, I'm buddy. holding Cooper Cup if I can. But Jesus what Christ, would, I can't give you a 25 second. Fuck that. I don't. Okay, 24 second in certain spots. I'd probably consider it because this class I like, but. Where is that? Like, what seconds in this class would you take for Cooper Cup? Oh, maybe an early one. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, which one? I'm, I'm, let's cut the. Let's, let's draw the cutoff line. Let, Maddie seems to think he needs like a you know 104 for him. But where are you at? I, I think it's got to be a first. I'm thinking even just the 201. You know, we've been running a, a ton of mocks, and the guys there now we're looking at the Troy Franklins, who's a bit of a faller. The running back class, I still don't know what to make of it. It seems like it might be a dud. So I don't know. Could I don't be. know if I'd even take a second-round pick at all right now for Cooper Cup because he's also that type of player who does see a value bump when the season kicks around. Uh, we saw, you know, we, we've now seen it for the last few years where <clears throat> people want to sell now. It's not the time to sell. Sell when someone looks at their roster and they're, you know, getting a little roster chub going. I mean, that, I mean, in general, yeah, I agree. Like it. 
I guess to the question, if we answer it without the second part, like if your league economy is not going to let you get a 24 second or 25 second, like it doesn't matter. But what am I doing with Cooper Cup this time of year? Like he's almost an auto hold. I don't think most people are going to be paying you right now in March, right as the draft hype season and everyone's talking about mm-hmm. 20 year old kids. You know, here, let's go get Cooper Cup the year he didn't look as great and Puka Nakua is supposed to be the big thing. Like, you know, just not the time. If I was down bad, needed to get off of him, desperate to rebuild, 208, 209 in this class, I'm good. Wow. How about that? But I'm, I'm more with you guys, like, at this point. That, that's like a classic hold. Hold till the season. Why can't he be Mike Evans of 2023, right? You look up and you're like, oh, shit, man, this dude's still producing. Still wide receiver two for my team. But, okay, by the way, Caleb. Here, take this, uh, take this I think, 112. I think Caleb, you, know, you can see the comment. Yeah, so he's on. you're on YouTube. We got 105 people watching. Uh, that's including Twitter. So maybe Caleb had just, you know, tapped into Twitter today. But uh, appreciate all of you guys here. If you are on YouTube, hit the hit the like. If you're on Twitter, why not? Hit the like. Well, you know, if you ain't absolutely. sub, what the fuck you doing? I mean, I don't know if there's anyone I left. To, I don't know if there's anyone that's left that could sub, but if you can, sub in. Come on. Let's you, do it. YouTube sends me a report, lets me know that you watch but didn't sub. It's okay. Who you are. I Mike I <laughs> Mike at this point, I kind of expect <laughs> it, right? You know? I kind of it's full of shit. I, I know exactly what you're doing. I shit my <clears throat> pants for you people. I know what you yeah. did last summer, you know? Jesus. What do you guys want from me? All right. I listened to this episode post live i was laughing oh he's talking about the shit one yeah i mean yeah. i will admit that was it's gonna be hard to top uh maddie maddie double tap <laughs> being here is about as good as it gets but that one was just you know in the moment whew, boy brock turdy was live um and on air <laughs> um all right Fuck trip that. crown i think has a great guys. trip crown has a great suggestion I think during a draft stream, take us in during the first pick and hold it to 32 challenge. I love this. Well, we could do that. If it's just a Zen, though. Like this yeah, guy. it's a, yeah, Cuba, it's a what's Cuban Zen. It's a Cuban Zen. Oh, oh Cuban <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's funny. It's kind of like that, a stove. You call it a Cuban? What do you want, a Cuban? Come on. It's, it's funny that the brand name is Cuba, but it's made in Poland. I don't understand that. Maybe it's ironic. Marketing, I don't know. Some sort of marketing ploy? Who knows? Yeah, uh, fuck it. Thing is better than any I'm, lax. I mean, if you, you think of though, if any you lax. if you were selling something like that, you you, you want to make sure that you know it doesn't it can't get traced back to you. you well, know? I really think you know when you when you hit a certain age, you got to do a yearly you know colonoscopies, you know, check up on you, right? And they like, give Mike, you this, you're looking extremely clean this year, right? Well, they give you this uh, this clear fluid you got to mix with Gatorade or this powder empties you out. It's not a fun experience, but you know, just instead what, of that, it, what would you just rather give one of those babies? What do you think is a realistically better for you? Like basically chugging like let's say a half gallon of like prune juice or that? Which one do you think is stronger? Oh, that's definitely stronger. That's kind of what I figured. That prune juice is like the 112 of the class, all right? I'm talking 101. (laughs) This is like Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison territory? This is is like Caleb Williams versus (laughs) Michael Pratt. (laughs) Well... I think if Chris Sims was here, we might have a debate, but that's... Uh, <laughs> that's right. That's Don't right. put that in his, in his head either. Don't put that in the ethers. Tiger King. I like the Tiger King. You know? Tiger King, man. Um, Guess what, motherfuckers? <laughs> 12 <laughs> team what, start 10. I, I'm, God damn. 12 I'm team start 10. From this. Superflex PPR 109 plus question mark. I like this. I did this with Mike on 4D. Or on the trade show, plus mm-hmm. blank spot. It's, it's 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 dynasty trade algebra, right? It's, it's algebra. It is. It's four D algebra. Uh, one hundred nine plus so, what equals London? London or one hundred six? The so there's two questions here. I'll answer the second one. I love Drake London. Uh, really want to buy him, but uh, I kind of treat him. He's in that bucket with Chris Olave, and you guys have seen me trade Olave away for one hundred six in this class. That's how in enthralled i am with the top seven picks of this class so worst case scenario you end up with a wide receiver like roma dunze who's in the basically same tier as drake london right out the box you just don't know his landing spot best case somebody's dumb and let's a uh, top 15 top 10 top five like maddie was talking quarterback in jj mccarthy fall to you at the 106 in a super flex league and that's a smash right now it could be drake may 
<laughs> way it's you going. Chris Sims, shit, he might not <clears throat> even be a first rounder. He might sneak in, you know, back end. <laughs> sneak in. Maybe somebody trade up for him a la Lamar Jackson. Okay. Uh, Maddie, where are you at? London or the 106? Uh, for the 106, for sure. I'm with my top seven, locked and loaded. Uh, not, I'm not moving one of those picks for, for London. I do like London. He is definitely someone I've been uh, kind of scouring over for my, some startups I'm in and trade opportunities, things of that nature. The 109, I would absolutely try to flip the 109 plus whatever, you know, I, I don't know what the gap's going to be in this league. But uh, I'm definitely looking to do that. Like, if you're asking me player for player, Troy Franklin or Drake London, Drake London all day. What about if Brian Thomas? Me, I'm taking Drake London all day. Because I, I would agree. I don't, I don't think – I'm not sure. I don't think most people are going to take Brian Thomas ahead of Drake London straight up. But let me ask it like this. Brian Thomas and Keon Coleman or Drake London? I'm still going to go Drake London. The thing about Keon Coleman being at the Combine, he was the biggest uh, mystery going into the Combine. I just needed to see what what is this athleticism? How does it translate? Did you not feel it when it was coming at you over 20 miles an hour, sideline to sideline? That's the thing. Did you not feel that energy? I could feel it in New York. It was like the ground was bang, bang, just flying down the speed. It's crazy. Well, that's the thing about Keon Coleman, man. He, He... Rans a four six one, four six four, whatever it was. But then he runs twenty something miles an hour in the gauntlet and does so in a pretty straight line. You know, shows some good flexibility in the hips. I still you have did. no idea what to make of Keon Coleman, to be honest. I, I can I, I just I have can no I idea. tell you? Of course, I'd love to know. Don't. All right, let me, let me put it like this: If you had to for football wide receivers, do you care about how they start in a three point stance, get out of the blocks at six four? Or do you care how they run in a straight line while catching the ball? I care the MPH. The MPH is is, is a better indicator. Do you of like cassettes, football speed. or do you want to you know stream stuff off your phone? That's that's a misleading question. I'm an old man. I will fucking do you? love running it back with some cassettes. All right, that's fair. Well, I mean, a lot of people do. That's why they still do the forty, right? Like it's you know. Yes, it's the, nostalgic. The thing about Keon Coleman is, the, are you out on him though? Give give me your take on Keon. I'm, I'm not. Just, I'm, just I'm not. I'm him. not out on him. He. He really didn't even fall in my rankings. He's, I've kind of been hesitant on him in my ranks. I had him right outside my top five. I think it was seven. He's just fallen to eight, and that was really just because McConkie uh, really jumped up after that performance. But I still like Keon Coleman. I still think that of the back end of the top ten in terms of this class, he, he has some of the highest upside. I think he is the type of profile and the type of prospect profile that could be a wide receiver one on a team where guys like Roman Wilson – uh, Xavier Leggett, I just don't see it. So I, I, I still am in on Keon Coleman. I just uh, I just hope that the NFL – I just hope his pro day, you know, it maybe gives us a little more clarification, maybe we can see a little bit more. Because even in the route running drills, he wasn't bad. There were guys <laughs> far worse than him, uh, even though he was a bit slow. And now we have the, Puka, the, Puka, the Puka Nakua corollary where slow 40, really, really fast, really, 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 really strong gauntlet – Good route runner. Does that translate? I mean, we saw the video. Les Snead saying, hey, sort that son of a bitch by an MPH. You know, that's Keon Coleman right now. I I don't think I have anything left. I like what you said. I, Mike, do you, what, what are you, where are you at, though? 109 and what? Right now, so right now, t- Keon Coleman, I'm thinking early second. So, like, Maddie says he still wants the London side. Uh, what about you? And then what do you think the the equals is here? What do you think the plus is? If you give me 109 and 201, I think that'd be enough. Maddie, 109 and 201 or London? It's okay. You can answer. You, I, I still you, you can't oppose. I still All right. There. You can I oppose, Mike. There. I do want London there. Yeah. I, I, I will say, though, in this format, if I was going to say no, it would have to be something like this. 12 teams start 9, 12 teams start 10. Like, I got to be really believing in London in the format. Um, man, I think, I think I'm kind of at the spot where I know that if I take the 109 and the 201, I'm looking to flip in the next two months or do some kind of value bump, um, where I'm just like locking in the value. If you just want to take these two players and you don't plan on trading at all and you decide you want to fade Keon and you know, you want to take someone else instead that 
you, you miss on. Like, just be prepared that nothing's locked and safe. Uh, London right now, I think I'm I'm hopeful, and a lot of people are hopeful that the situation change will finally lead to big things in year three. So um, that's kind of yeah. where I'm at on this this trade. I'm, I get behind. I think one. value's about right. What you're saying, though, two hundred one. Like I, yeah. I don't think you know much more than the one twelve anyone would ever send for Drake London right now. Even if they did, it'd probably be a smash even in a start ten for me. Like I'll take the two shots on. It doesn't have to be Keon Coleman, but it could be a you know Brian Thomas and something else. Maybe you're an RB guy. Maybe maybe Jonathan Brooks goes to Dallas in the second round, and all of a sudden it's like you know Allen brought this up. Now he's in first round conversation. I don't agree with it, but it could be the case. Trevor's right, and I think you know Mike. Had he run track instead of played basketball, everyone would be all excited. But, like, you know, the basketball thing just has That's really true. got people upset. Um, How dare him? How dare you go out and, you know, jump really high and really far, too? Yeah, it was, uh, well, yeah. it's, you know. At 6'4 and 215 pounds. Dr. B, we're going we're gonna to wrestle. We're going to wrestle for Keon, all right? You and me, buddy. Mike's going to be shitting in the other room. <laughs> he's, po- he's he's polarizing, and because he's polarizing, he's my wide receiver 10. It's not Let me, like Keon Haint, but it's just there's other guys I like oh. Yeah, so yeah I, I got him at like, 8, so I still believe in him. I, I feel like Slashy, the, the avatar here, it all of a sudden makes a lot more sense when the it's phrased like this. Let me get the biggest truthers that you can't quit, example, Antonio Gibson. Like, that's definitely the middle finger, I feel like, to both of us, like, well, right he now. doesn't even have to like say example. You can just say, "Why does Mike love Antonio Gibson so much?" <laughs> yeah. Do you is still have that jersey? That I feel like you need to bring that jersey back. Truther? I do. I do yeah. still have it. All right. Um, I don't know. You is this for you? Is this question for you, Maddie? Who are Who are some of your biggest be. truthers? Uh, Antonio Gibson is probably the biggest truther that I have right now. We're all waiting on bated breath to see <clears> where he signs. But we're talking about a guy who's six fo- six feet, two hundred twenty pounds. You know he's fast. He can catch the ball. Plenty of tread on the tires. Like it's just impossible to quit him. It's impossible can, to quit, especially what we saw his rookie year. I got a good yeah. one, um, but Mike, I'll let you go, and then I'll tell you who I'm. I'm. I'm back in on. I never left. Cut two. No, you I get one. Two. You could go two. one. You could. He only actually do one says it's plural. I'm just. I just like to see if I can mess with Mike. It's plural. I got two. Mac okay. Jones and Trey Lance. All right. Matt so you Jones, have none. There, there was, you have none. <laughs> there was nobody fucking. Ha- there was nobody fucking happier in the entire world than when I see that tweet that came out that said Vikings may have interest in Trey Lance from Dallas. <laughs> Bring him home, baby. <laughs> we back, baby. We I back. want you to put the. Just, I want you to put the word on the street. We, we back, back up. up. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Mike, I stop it. Why? Why? You know? Why do you do this? Look at that red face. He knows exactly what he's doing. Is why he's laughing to the point of uncontrollability. Maddie, um, let me just see something here. I need to make sure. I feel like revealing this isn't actually uh, something that I want to do right now. Do it, Sally. Do Come it. On. Hold on. You I, gotta I'm top just... Mike shitting his pants. Well, that no. I mean, that's that's a no brainer. Um, <laughs> Slashy demands it. All right, he's even flipping you off here. I just want to see where he's going in startups before I say this because. Oh my gosh! What all right, here we go. Here we go. Everything. No, I just I want to I want to have some context, Mike. There's a I was I'm doing you, as you know I'm doing a. Uh, I need some help by the way. Koopa won't help me. Barry doesn't really want to help me. T Rock doesn't want to help me. I I I don't know how to fucking use Excel. All right, what do you want from me? I need some help, That's and true. no one wants to help me. But I'm trying to build this. Um, I don't know, data collection on tight ends and. What I'm looking for. And there's a tight end that is currently, so for the last eight years, all right? So for the last eight years, I, I ran through who are the top 12 tight ends each year for the last eight years. There's only a handful of guys on this list that um, are multiple time, like they've, they've made it multiple times in their in their in these last eight years. There's Travis Kelsey who's made it all eight, but you know, there's only multiple, only certain multiple people. One of them, is currently coming off the board in startups at tight end twenty six. Hey Noah, Noah, he's and is going to, to and is finally <laughs> leaving the place in which he's been like hell struck. We we have seen I I don't get it, man. Like at this point, like I get it. I get it if he was stuck in Seattle. I get it if he was stuck in Seattle where they're gonna just you know not give him snap share, but 
like tight end 26 man he's free free no offense now i'll take him for free <laughs> free no offense let's go <laughs> We're left no offense. Y'all left no offense. And, and, and you, baby. Absolutely. Much, much like Russell Wilson gets to decide his own destiny. Like, throw, oh, yeah. throw. What if Noah, no, what if Noah Fant gets signed on a cheap deal because he doesn't have a ton of production at this point? People discount him. Where a really good landing spot with like a good quarterback. <laughs> Y'all realize this, this man was a, this man was a top 12 tight end two years in a row with Drew Locke, under 4K passing yards, terrible offense, and Teddy Dink and Dunk Bridgewater. We're gonna we're gonna do this uh, right. We did it with David and Joku. There's no more questions. I'm ranting the rest of the night. Finally got to see it. Now we're gonna do it with Noah Fant. In a few years, we'll be talking about who's your biggest truth. You can't pit cow pits. Can't get can't wait. <laughs> Look what he did as a rookie. Well, that's a little different. Cow pits is uh, still in the fifth round, right? There ain't no discount on Kyle Pitts. Mike, let me ask you, who in the who in the nineteenth round do you think is a better pick than Noah Fant? Maddie, you can go nineteenth round. Yeah, the nineteenth round of startups. Can I interest you in John Mechie? Um how about Juju? No. No. There's I thought, not I a Mike, I thought Mike I went might down buy that freaking that. lonely road last year. I, oh, did you? It was a good thing you weren't on the show. Mike I and I almost got rounder. Mike and I were getting after it on Juju and people thought we were like actually going to fight. It was pretty awesome. Right. Um but yeah, was, that, that's right. my that's my uh biggest truther that I can't quit cuz guess what? Trey Lance isn't going to play like Mike said. Cam Akers tore his other Achilles. I mean, I'm I'm down and out bad, all right? What do you, I don't know what you want from me. Noah's the only one that's alive with a pulse. I'm taking my shot with Noah. Just in the 18th round take Mac Jones too. Hey, Trip Crown, just know I see you. Yeah, we always see him. The, we the, always see him. Just, just like in our faces, the, the stuff he does. But um, all right, here we go, Maddie. You tell me, JSN or 109, half PPR, 12 team, start 10. Half PPR makes me want to take the 109 because if that's the, the Brian Thomas type player, uh, I'd rather have – that upside, that potential over JSN. We know what JSN uh, could be. We've seen how bad it can be. I guess I should say. There's only way to. There's only one way to go for him. It's up. But uh, I'd rather the one or not. Give me Brian Thomas. Give me the upside of a you know potential Lad McConkey landing spot. Definitely, definitely Adnai Mitchell over JSN right now. And even with the right spot, Keon Coleman over JSN could present more upside. Ooh. Speaking of leaving people for dead, I mean, I love Keon, but damn, JSN just – give me all oh, – I, 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 I'm with you. I, I understand what you're saying, though. Like, right now, the value bump, too, and you're getting like, – 109 is – I was telling Mike this on – I don't want to spoil the trade show, so I won't say it. But it's it's literally, like, right on the edge of being in the Tier 2 for me, which is crazy valuable. Um, I, Mike, the disrespect right now. Man wants a crash course in Excel. Good luck. Just, you know, I'm out here being vulnerable, and look at this. And then I got Koopa – who says he's too busy, and look, all the fucking sudden Koopa's available to talk some shit, you know? Sheesh. <laughs> Got him. I, I love you, Koopa, but, you know. Got him. It's okay. Where's the turtle? I, Mike, the turtle. he, he kind of, I will admit, Koopa is starting to learn the shit way. Like, remember, I feel like the young, you know, shy Koopa that I once knew is gone. He, like, oh, yeah. he, like, entertained the question, like, asked me, you know, what I was doing and wanted, got all the information to tell me, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do anything with this. Th- that Koopa is long dead. He's showing yeah. up with a neck tattoo at the expo. I, I agree. I think I think that we're in for a long, long No year. regrets. Yeah, Koopa. No regrets. No regrets. Yeah, no regrets. Slashy. Koopa Troopa. Slashy. I remember no one asking you with your fucking middle finger up, all right? It's so and Nath- Nathan with another super chat? Are London and Pitts going to get a pass for another year no matter what, no matter the QB is in Atlanta? Nope. I- nope. No. No, there's going to be a QB Three upgrade. Years. There's a coaching upgrade. There's a system upgrade. It's their third year. I mean, everything's now. It's all on the line for these guys. But I'm, I, no pass. So you, so you think uh, the community will be out if they have like similar production to this year? Not Pitts. Not Pitts. Let's talk London. Pitts. I think is a different case. They're, London they're too. Done. Yeah. They're really. Done. Three years. We. Can I interest you in some Corey Davis a few years ago? Can I interest you in some Jerry Judy? 
I mean, okay. Y'all are... I mean, there's there's Chris Sims and then there's this. Drake London was actually all right last year. Jerry Judy, if you put all three of his years in one, didn't catch what he, Drake London did. Just saying. I don't even think... I don't even think just Jerry Judy could caught could catch that just whatever the, the hell the got side. your stomach bug. Let's see, let's see. Just the man on the other side. Okay, so all right, I get you. So you're saying you that he does, they don't get a pass? But you don't even know what the 25 wide receiver class looks like, right? This one's fucking awesome. Last year's was fucking awesome. The year before was fucking awesome. At some point, man, you go three years and you haven't done dick all. Eventually, people are gonna go. Well, next, we're good. Yep. Like, just the way it works. We just keep churning out awesome ass fucking wide receivers every single year, and eventually people just get tired of the old. It's like, yeah, go ahead. You have your Drake London. You have fun. Enjoy your fourth year breakout, fifth year breakout. Like we're done. We're on to the next. <laughs> Never yeah. recovers. It's I, night, baby. It's I will say that I love that. The Mike's confidence is really he's answering himself, but really the crazy part is I I like the confidence he has in the dynasty community that he loves to shit on all the time. I I think it's like I I'm never going to say that I can guarantee you the craziness that the whole community is going to have because Mike, there's some people in year three that I don't think should be um, where they are. But I, who am I to judge? I'm you know I'm just here asking questions. Nathan, thank you for the super chat. I think that uh, no matter what. No, I don't think if Drake London puts up a 40 point, you know, fan, if he, his fantasy points per game is in the 40s again, I think he'll drop pretty significantly. But like, let's say Drake London steps into a situation where the quarterback play is not great and he's tw- quarter, uh, wide receiver 23, like shows a little bit of an upgrade. Oh, they ain't fucking leaving, man. These guys are ready to go. No. To the, yeah. Can I ask you how he's, interested he's you in are in the DJ Moore trajectory if that's the case? There's, that's a good one. Can I ask you how interested you are in Rashad Bateman or Elijah Moore? Or? Yes, you can. It's a low blow, but yeah, you can. <laughs> Just throwing out some other darlings, you know, that haven't yeah. really ever done shit in three years. Mike, the only person that believes in Rashad Bateman doing anything, it, they they tell you that to their face. It's it's hard, Bob, but there's no way even he yeah. believes it. Did you see that, by the way? It was hey, wild. Man, that press Judy. conference? Jerry Judy two years yes. ago had his best fantasy season ever, and it was better than Drake London's touched yet. So people okay. still hated him going into year four. Okay. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm just. I'm answering the question. I I don't. I think no matter what, like if he stays where he's at, no. But you get another them, 60, 70 catch for nine hundred yards. No, that's what I said. If 10, he does, if he's 10 a fantasy points a game. That's what I just said. If he's a wide receiver, forty something in points per game, mm-hmm. no, he's not. He, they're not going to give him a pass. But if he, for example, Mike, let's say he's twelve ish points per uh, per game fantasy. Let's say he gets like barely over a thousand. Really, not much bump in production, but the quarterback play still iffy. He's just like barely a wide receiver too. They'll, they'll they'll make the case. Oh, he, he but he's getting better, and then he's gonna eventually get a quarterback. I think if he stays just, continuing to do what he's doing right now. I'm no. asking you, like, did people do that for Jerry Judy, right? It felt like last year heading into the year we had to, like, make a case. Like, you know what? I might be a little bit in on Jerry Judy heading into year four. And he came off wide receiver 19 finish in right. points per game the year before. Right. No, people were back in on Jerry Judy. But were they fully back in? Well, I mean. <laughs> he was still, what, a seventh rounder? Eighth well, rounder? But Jerry Judy was never inflated to the point that Drake London is. Jerry Judy was a wide receiver one of his class from like jump, even though it was in, wrong in ADP or in the in the NFL yeah. draft. Yeah, he was not the wide receiver one in ADP in that class. Okay, go look it up. I, I, he might have been. Go look Dude, it up. That was the Lamb class, the 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 Jefferson class, and he still Henry was Ruggs the was the, the first wide receiver. CD Lamb was coming off. CD yeah. Lamb was coming off the in startups at one. No. Yes. Go look it up. That's I don't I need to look it up. No, I don't need to look it up. I don't need to look it up because I already know. You need, Mike, what you need is a 66 because you, you have too much shit in your body still. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you like that? We, we wrestling. We what wrestling do you think would happen if you did two? If you put up two upper <laughs> I actually think that's a good question. Right. Do they cancel each other out? Yeah. Ooh. Might be. Oh, my God. 2020 Dynasty Rookie ADP. One QB League. Jerry Judy at the One QB League? <laughs> Mike's looking at one QB League. 
Who's the first wide receiver off the board in here? Jerry uh, Judy. Who's the second? CeeDee Lamb. Okay. What are you looking at? You're looking at mocks from guys that you say don't know Dynasty? You're using that? Come on. This is the Chris, Chris Sims mock? Okay. Come on. Di- DLF. DLF football. Mm. 2020 okay. ADP. Shout out Ryan McDowell. The 108, Jerry Judy. The 109, CeeDee Lamb. So you, you think that's reflective of what actually happened in all the drafts? I watched him in drafts. So did I. You were you, in like two leagues. I know. And guess what? <laughs> he never went ahead. You were in like two home leagues. Exactly. I, I was. I was in three leagues. Yeah, I was. And guess what? CeeDee Lamb, it was actually only two rookie your drafts. life to like open your horizons. Right. To let you like, Adam, I, I had to come. Leagues. I had to go and expand the horizon and then realize at a certain point, you can have all these crazy leagues because I want no part of fucking 60 leagues. I really don't. It's okay, don't. man. No, I know. Once you just be like, Mike, you were right. I'm sorry. I ADP says 108 and 109, and it's a consensus. He's ahead. And, and DLF? He was the number one wide receiver of the class. He it was, seems pretty definitive on, that Mike won this argument. If I'm, how? If, if I can be the – Matty Because he just he – Because DLF said, said so? one. Yeah, he said ADP. ADP told you said check the ADP. DLF, the ADP. DLF pulls that ADP from where? Mike, where did that come from? Not literally where did it come from? Every single fantasy manager. Where did it come from? And get a record. No, because South <laughs> Harmon. See what South Harmon does is they give you the actual ADP that's pulled from Sleeper. Well, that'd be cool with South Harmon. Mike's pulling up one quarterback mocks. Mike, I think you need this a sixty-six. <laughs> what quarterback mock two. is what you pull up? That's I just give you two ADP sources. I think you made like a better mock. take. When you had like just said Trey Lance and Mac Jones, honestly, like that's See, well, I, is, that's where is, I'm at. This is like I'm the New York Times, right? I got two confirmed sources. I'm on the record. You know, I even got Maddie, the expert, I bring in. He was like, "Yeah, his sources are correct." Adam's like the fucking New Yorker. Like, are aliens real? Have they there abducted you go. Donald Trump? Now, <laughs> let me ask you this. Let, let's get back to the point. I may or may not have. What did you say? What did you say the ADP? What did you say the ADP was for Jerry Judy? One hundred eight, right? Can we pull up the ADP for Drake London? Right? Can we pull up Drake London's ADP? Because you said that the community was in on Drake ahead of Drake London because Jerry Judy was wide receiver one. Drake London was like 104 in his class. Right. How wide receiver one class? in his class too. How great was that class compared to the 2020 class? Not that good. All the running backs died. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> what do you, what do you say? No. The community was not as in as, in as high as Jerry Judy. You got fucking – Clyde Edwards Hilaire going to the Chiefs, 101. You got Jonathan Taylor, all world running back. You had Joe Burrow in that class, Tua, J.K. Dobbins, DeAndre Swift, Cam Akers. And then you got to the wide receivers. He was the number one wide receiver in his class, number one in ADP, number one in people's ranks, number one considering outside of Henry Ruggs in the actual NFL draft. What the fuck more do you want? A lot. <laughs> you, do you, hold on. Do you do you, act, do you actually believe? Hold on. Do you actually believe that though? Do you believe the community was as high on Jerry Judy as they are with Drake London? Yes. Because I I could show you keep trade cut data that says it's not. I'm waiting. It'd be the only data that you provided tonight <laughs> in this argument. You're crazy. I just told you the best <laughs> buy is is no offense, and I gave you reasons that are cited by data. You told me you like Mac Jones because you like Mac Jones for what reason? I love Mac Jones. Yeah, there's no awesome. data to why, that. You do. You love Mac Jones. Why the fuck is he catching strays? Be, Noah Fant yeah, was a Max top 12. A Noah, Noah, Noah Fant was a top 12 <laughs> tight end twice. Why the fuck is Mac Jones catching strays? Because Bailey Zappi's playing ahead of him, and you, you hate Bailey Zappi. Man, the logic on this one's awesome. I love you, Adam. But when you <laughs> lose, you just can't ever admit it. It's fine. I get it. What? You could take a lot of L's when we start doing them NCAA streams over the summer. There you go. That'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be oh, fun. you guys are going to be streaming NCAA? That's going to be fun. Fuck yeah. Fire, you, want on, you want on this, Maddie? Get yourself a PS5, bro. I have to get, I'd have to get a PS5. But this might be something that oh, drives you, got, you, you, got, you got an Xbox? The old stuff. Listen, if everybody's got an Xbox, I'll be, I don't want to make you guys buy PS5s. I'll go to the Xbox. Now. I don't have anything. I'm a free oh. agent. I, I gave up gaming free agent. when they when the All next right. gen came out, so... We're you're gonna have to get back in, in my man. friend. NCAA 25, you gotta get back in. Yeah, that would be fine. Oh man. Oh, okay, okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's don't, Doctor B. Let's don't, Doctor B, B. Don't tell him about Brandon Cooks and and uh, Juju. Don't, don't do that. That's not. That's not. Sure. That's Savage only stuff. Come on. I don't know how the fuck we got Brandon Cooks in this conversation. That was the last time you and I were arguing in front of uh, you know, Doctor B. Oh, he was what's, on Savage. What are we arguing about? 
Brandon Cooks and Juju Smith Schuster. That's why I brought oh, yeah. it up. What do you mean? The that, that's why I brought situation. it up. It was, we were arguing. Who took what side on that? By the way, I wanted. I need. To I was this. on the Juju. I need those. Yeah. See, I'll take ah, my L's. Yeah. One quarterback. That's a tough one. Yeah. I'll take my L's. I don't act like they didn't happen, even though. David well, you did take your L's because you you got that ass tapped by me the only time we played in the title. <laughs> <laughs> Your only fucking title game. That's Jesus. true. If I only won one title, it would definitely be by you versus like sixty. But I lost to a make a wish kid. That's true. <laughs> I didn't have to make a wish. <laughs> I had all these teams that like did terrible. And I just walked. Little does he know, I wrote that league off on charity. <laughs> I donated to the needy. Mike, I mean, I I had to write off taxes. I paid more money than I than I won. <laughs> so I I wrote it as a tax write off on my buy ins. Um, hold on, oh, that? this is great. Glad weird fight, weird this. fight, but okay, I like it. Um, Strategically <laughs> placed in between us. Matt, Matty, I hey, feel God, like God, it's God, it's God, it's God, it's God, it's God. Mike, I got, Mike got cooked. That's true. Where is uh? I'm looking for a question. I don't see any. I think they're just liking the entertainment. Let's keep them going. That's good. It's good. Oh, it is going to be cross platform. So, I wonder how that'll work. What's that? For, like online dynasty. You talking about for the NCAA football, uh, right. the game? Yeah, like almost everything's cross-platform anymore. Like I play Hell Divers with dudes on PC. I, you know, play like I Steam bought a, I bought an Xbox, the new Xbox One, and I literally like played one time, and it just sits there. So I, I'd be, it'd be good to get it fired up. You know, I don't even know what playing online like is like anymore. Uh, we, we probably Yo, Mike, tell me about Hell Divers. <clears throat> oh, is Hell Divers the truth? It is the truth. I keep trying to get people in the Discord, like Mello. Mello's a gamer. Yeah. Mello. Every time I see him on, he's Mello playing a... fucking Call of Duty. Like, oh, that's so 2019, Mello. <laughs> get with the times here, boy. Hell Divers like... is the truth, man. Maddie, did, did like you Dr. like Starship I'm, Troopers? I'm still in on Like, is it a Starship Troopers? Starship, Starship Troopers is like one of my top five favorite movies of all time. Exactly. Now imagine playing that in a video game where you're fighting bugs. Yes, and then you, you, what is it, Moldova Creek or whatever, the, the, the cyborgs? I was going to ask, did you like Terminator? Yes, I also <laughs> that, love Terminator. Now that's yeah. the other side of the map. You're fighting Terminators. <laughs> but it's like overwhelming Terminators from the from the oh, videos I've seen of trying to ridiculous. hold it down. It's horrible. It mm. looks insane. Just go watch the TikToks on Helldivers. That's ultimate entertainment. Yeah. You don't. There's so many times they just added uh, meteor showers, like random meteor showers. Like meteor showers, Jesus, yeah. bourbon kicking in, boy. But now, like, I'm sitting there and like I'm I'm so low clear and I'm like, fuck, we're on a mission here. And I'm like running around and all of a sudden there's like a meteor shower and it just hits me right in the back of the fucking head and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> how am I supposed to dodge a meteor? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, listen, I don't tell, don't don't say I didn't tell you so. You know, don't say I never do anything for you when Noah fan, you know, has a pulse again. He's been Dude, dead. Like He's pick. definitely been dead too. No, I was I was talking to just in general. Oh. Like I'm I'm just high on him. Adam's got that. Yeah. What? Both Adams. Adam OTC and Why why do you think I'm talking shit to you? Are you like Noah Fant? <laughs> Jesus. I love Noah Fant. That's Isn't what that, I mean. I could see him back there behind your wall. He's mm. there. We gotta update that. Yeah. I need you know, that I, same I, ball I, game I, I, I I put that together, designed it for him, and he's out here. I'm I'm Judas, you know. Jeez. <laughs> mighty. Gosh, sorry. Well you, you tried to make me you shit, my shit pants your pants clan. I didn't do anything. I am the person that runs the stream and the, the good patrons, the people that care about this show. What do you want me to do? Tell them no? Your money's no good here? Mike has to poop? That's Come fine. on. Man up. Man up. He's always crying. <laughs> All right. Almost caught I up. I'm always uh, crying. I was late, but no way Fant becomes tight end two. Wait, what do you mean tight end two? A tight when end the... two? Is that what he means? Like A tight end two in the league? So like... I mean, he's tight end 26, so that he doesn't. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> He's not even tight end two right now, yeah. <laughs> are, are we uh, saying he's not going to be tight end two for the season? I would, I would tight bet. End two overall. I don't think. Yeah, I would Wait, think most people ain't betting. Maybe, maybe it was the David and Joku thing that I threw in there. Wait, you Spent, boys like, don't have uh, Sammy Laporta and then Noah Fant in your dynasty tight end rankings? What do you guys? Say? Mike actually said, "Can I tell you what Mike said?" And by the way, uh, speaking of, I don't take my L's. My, Mike told me countless times and was a hundred percent right on Sammy Laporta. Yeah, every time I would get in, I would eventually check Mike. Like, ah, I think you're being too bullish. I'm telling you, man, he's going to be great in the fourth. I, I don't know. You sure? He said, this is his, his quote, Noah Fant and TJ Hawkinson, if they had a baby, that would be Sam Laporta. And I feel like 
it's a pretty good case because like if TJ Hawkinson was just a titch more athletic and everybody really liked him, that's that's what Sammy Ball game is. Now and if Noah Noah Fan didn't block like a slot receiver. Yes. If if Mike all only thing Mike could have done better with uh Sam Laporta was say he's gonna be the tight end one in Dynasty by the end of the year. But I couldn't that's even I bold. like I wussed out pretty early too. Where I was like, "Damn, Sammy Ballgame's tight end ten already." There's, a, there's, a, there's another guy that says, "You know, I'm just too busy. I won't be home till 11:30. You know, can't help you with your sheets." T. Rex like known for his sheets. He says, "Nah, I'm good." Was you out there making carnitas for the world? You gotta let the man do God's work. That's a he good is, question. Uh, T. Rex got a, a dream job, so shout out to him, right? It's a cook. Well, congrats on a dream job, chef. Sorry, he, chef. He, he actually said it. The, yes, the, if he could have wor- if chef. he could have picked handpicked his restaurant, this would where be where he where he'd be working. So it's a big super happy to T for T Rock. Actually, T Rock, shout out to you, buddy. Go ahead and put in their comments if you well if you are worried about people you know showing up at your work. You don't have to. But. And shout out to him. Go read his articles, man. He's been dropping heat these last four. I'm, with these I'm ready to check series. that out later tonight. I still got to record later. He asked me if there. I like this one, and I had to be honest. We were recording like all day. I was on with your boy uh, Cody Cody earlier in the day. That's how I kicked it yeah. off and then transitioned. Me and Adam did some <clears> stuff, so I haven't had a chance yet because I, I didn't Mike, work today. come on. Took, don't took tell vacation. people that. Don't tell people Sorry. that. about Me and Adam did some stuff. <laughs> We did some stuff. <laughs> I hung out with your boy, days. and then I did some stuff with Adam. I'm like, ooh, scandalous. I, that's the way I am, man. If you watched last week's AMA with me and Alan, it got a little feisty. Oh, well, Alan is always down for a good time. I love Alan. Alan is a wall. Alan's Alan's I am, my am. I am desperately. Maddie, help us, too. I'm desperately trying to convince Alan to come to the expo. He's got to. He's got to. You I, I, I told him I. I don't think I said, he's going to, is he? Nah, we're going to try. I told him, I said, if you can just pay for your ticket up there. Like, you got a place to stay. You got food. Don't worry about it. Rest is on us. Come stay at the shit house with us. We got you. Dude, it's going to be so much fun. Oh, wow. I guess you, you really see this? had to shit at him. Mike, Mike finally bowed out. That's messed up, man. He shit his pants. Oh, what that happened? Was, that was Jerry Judy. I I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> that was, was Jerry Judy? <laughs> it was Jerry Judy. <laughs> I knew it. Damn That'd it. be the quickest thing he's ever done in his NFL career, getting you off screen that fast. <laughs> I think I think Jerry Judy doesn't even drop balls like that. He just dropped his ass. <laughs> Bam. Yikes. Yikes. Pause again. That's that's a lot of pause right now. Yo, there is a lot a, of people there, catching strays right now. Pod. What's that? Yeah, yeah. We, we might try to go viral. Strays. We need to get viral to kick off the season, baby. I'm yeah, not, let's talk about yeah. Jerry Judy's balls and All doing right. stuff with Adam. Speaking of um, balls, give me a guy in the twenty-four class that you're willing to put your balls on the line for. Give me a a, a, a Maddie Kiwum at the combine truther. Like you know, you weren't that impressed with Keon Coleman. So who who blew Maddie Kiwum away other than Caleb Williams at the uh, you know? What are we talking? Are we talking like upper echelon sleepers, deep, deep, deep guys. I'm talking guys? Maddie talking? Kiwum special. There's no hold the guy bar. that I came away wildly impressed with. The guy that right. now has it's it's Roma Dunsey. I left okay. a I can't bigger that fan of Roma Dunsey than I could ever have thought. Uh, it co- it started from his media scrum. This guy commanded. He had moxie. I think he is going to be a future star. And then of course the football stuff is just absolutely through the roof. Production size ran the four four five graded uh, amongst I think the top. Two uh, re- uh, receivers in terms of route running in the class. He's just, he's for real, man. He is absolutely for real. And it's crazy to say, but there are just three, no doubt, difference makers at the top of this wide receiver class. With two guys, in my opinion, from Texas that are a uh, knock, 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 and also it, to be real difference makers coming in that first round. Oh, that's what it was. When I was on with Cody today, we got to the Roma Dunze topic. I was supposed to grill you because it isn't officially out yet. But, Maddie, just for uh, grilling sake to say I'm a false, mm-hmm. where do you have Roma Dunze in this class? I, Rome sits top my right wide receiver Ooh. rankings. He's my one. <laughs> Got it out of him. He's my That's how one. you ask a question, and, Dustin. Hold on. So, so <laughs> just give me a second. You <laughs> have him that. ranked ahead of Marv. You, you should – it took Mike – say I it do. with your chest, Maddie. If you have him at wide receiver one, I I, what you're, you're very mellow. Talk your shit. If that's your wide receiver one, I want to hear why. Like that, not that you can't. I'm just you should be much no, more he, th- excited. You know, tell it's, the people. It's tough to talk your shit because you're really just picking 
three nuclear bombs here, and you're just picking the one that has the 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 color glow that you want here. Maddie's all, Maddie's I mean, trying to end the world. Here. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm out here mischievous. I'm out here maniacal, as Cody would say. So it's not it's what? not that I don't like those old two. It's just sometimes here when we break down prospects, if yeah. you pick one, the assumption is the other three or two or five or whoever will fail. I think all three of them are going to be wildly successful. I think they're all great. And I think putting Rome atop my wide receiver rankings for me, what it's really going to do for the people that rock with the stuff that I put out there is – it's going to give them the confidence to move back from Marv to get an additional asset on top of Rome because at the end of the day, I think Roman, Roma Dunze could have similar production. And again, it's not that Harrison isn't him, but he does have some red flags, as, 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 as they all do. But Roma Dunze, to me, just feels more and more like this megastar from jump, and now he's getting linked to Caleb Williams potentially at, at, at the ninth pick to the Bears. He's just continuously now getting put now in mocks where you see him on a team and you're like, yes, this is where you unleash Roma Dunsey. Daniel Jeremiah from NFL Network, has he's been screaming from the rooftops that Rome is him. And after uh, a 2 a.m. all-22 sesh where Alex Dunlap and Cody were just showing me what I was missing with Rome, oh, yeah? I just – I just left absolutely uh, uh, captivated, fascinated, in love with Roma Dunsey. Interesting. I I will say so. I have I I said um, that I had Rome in tier two, and if Rome like really showed me what I'm hoping to see at the combine, he's going into tier one, and he did. And so now I don't have a tier two. I have three guys in tier one. There is no such thing as tier two because no one in tier three deserves to go to tier two, and I have tier three. But I, I don't have Rome ahead of Marv, but. I have him in that tier one. So I, I guess to the point you're making, if you want to go get your guy, definitely get it. Um, he, he is a really freaking good prospect, but it is, it is bold to put him ahead of both of those guys. So good for you for calling it out, buddy. Good for you. Yeah. I got to call your I shots like here. This is the call your shot season. You know what I'm saying? <clears> right now, but let me ask you this. So like this, we'll this see. is, this is where I, you know, Mike was, well, I'm not going to do that. I'll let Mike tell his else. I'm not, I'm, do you do you don't are are would you draft Rome ahead of those other guys in a startup or in a rookie draft? Is I guess the question. Uh, I would if I couldn't trade back. If, uh, if really I would get okay, my guy. all right. So that's yeah, that's even guy. that's even more different. Like you know, I that's would get my guy. That's but I'm absolutely I love it. obviously. You know, the, we don't play this game like Stooges, right? So if I have the 101 in one QB or, say, the 102, 103 uh, in, in Superflex and I have the chance to trade back, I will do my due diligence and work at it. Cause For sure, At the end yeah. of the day, it, you know, it, it, the secondary piece is minimal to me because I am willing to take Rome. But if I was looking at the draft board and let's just say a, a, another Roma Dunsey guy was right behind me and I could not uh, afford to move behind this individual – it was either I would, I would take Rome. I would take Rome. Let me ask you then, or it may not be a big difference for you, but do you have Marv or Neighbors at two? I have Neighbors ahead of Marv. I have Marv at three. Wow. Well, you do believe that Marv has some red flags then, um, I I believe, if you put him at three, right? Yeah. Well, the problem is it's just super lame to say 1A, 1B, 1C. Okay, you no, I get you. I get you. you. Know? That's so, fair. That's fair. It's not. It's I'm just like, asking. I'm, I want to get more out of Maddie. Like, I want to hear, you know, he, Maddie's takes. The thing about Marv that he's just not. He's not Julio. I think. I think we've all kind of come to grips. He's not Julio Jones. He's not the alien type. He's like the. He's AJ Green. That's the comp that everyone keeps settling in on. Everyone's yeah, okay said that. with that. And then Roma Dunsey, the comp I've heard, is a wide range of maybe uh, a slightly taller, slightly slower Jamar Chase with his mobility and his way, the, the way he wins at the next level, to a, a Larry Fitzgerald, a faster Larry Fitzgerald. And when we're talking A.J. Green or Larry Fitzgerald, give me a, a Larry Fitzgerald. We still have the pro days and we still have the NFL draft, so there's still two big components to put into the equation to see exactly where these guys <clears> pan out. But if we're going to go lofty 99th percentile outcomes oh. while I do my rankings, I just would rather have Rome. There's uh, Maddie's already on, on record, so we can just – Mike? Start 11. I think I'd go with Dunze in the the two hundred one. Yeah, I, would... I mean the two. So the two hundred one, like, 
I, I I think with how well a lot of people performed at the combine, I, uh, the two old was already are always a good pick to me. But I think he, it's even juicier now, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, um, yeah, very spicy. Like I actually feel like I Mike I would I probably wouldn't have done this before the combine, and maybe I'm doing too much. But I I feel like I would tear back from the two hundred one to like the two hundred six if the plus was okay. Again, like a second yeah, tier back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So doing doing that uh, rookie mock with Cody, it was like Jesus, man. This guy's here at the two ten. Like I just want to put it in perspective <laughs> that there's a very real chance at two hundred one, like Lad is there, who just yes. exactly went bananas. I mean, Maddie you saw mean, it firsthand. You mean so. Chris Olave two point oh? Mm-hmm. I didn't want to go there. I think some people aren't ready for that yet, but yeah. There's true. also we're, there's also a non-zero chance in your non-tight end premium that Brock Bowers there at the two hundred one, given how these guys are produced in a super flex format. I, I can I say, if I said that like a year later, I'd be crazy. But I would love to see the drafts uh, if that happens. If somebody sees Brock Bowers fall like crazy, put it. Let me see it. I, I'm yes. so curious to see if that actually yes. happens. I feel. Mike, I'm curious where you're at. I feel like the the way the tight end, the a lot of these younger tight ends are performing recently. I feel like I feel like the Brock Bowers hype hysteria is about to just get bananas. I really do. Probably right is. or wrong, I think it is. But yep. uh, in non tight end premium, to your point, Maddie, I could see it a little more. And if they listen to Koopa, mm-hmm. a warp tight end life, you know. That's A-warp what I'm saying. That in in my he's in that top seven for me. He ain't getting past that for me in, in any draft that I'm in. But in some that I've seen in the community, you know, mocks on uh, on YouTube or elsewhere, you know, the, we're just seeing him kind of – I don't know if people are just trying to be bold. I don't know if it's mock draft fatigue season where it's just, oh, why Brock was there at the 111? Brock was there at the 110? Like, that's just a couple of bad decisions away, and bada-bing, bada-boom, he's, he's the 201 in the room. Let, let me let me ask you guys this. Let me, let me, let me rephrase this question just – just, just ride with it. All right, don't, don't yell. Yeah, actually, you can yell. Fucking, you scream if you want. <laughs> one hundred one, or a Dunze yeah, in the two hundred one. I love BDG, but I'm gonna yell. <laughs> stop telling me to stop yelling, Nick. <laughs> Maybe I want to yell. Why you yelling is like you know, it's kind of like rhetorical. Like I know you're gonna fucking yell. Why are you yelling? Yeah, that's uh, true, man. And I ain't tucking my shirt in. All right, I'm too fat for that shit. That's okay. <laughs> I am going to keep demanding that people tuck their shirt, and even though I'm sure nobody does it, and they laugh at me, but it's okay. Um, you look good, though. Thank you, but I I don't know the tuck shirt. It just yeah. I like it. I'm I I believe in it. The tuck. One hundred one right, or a, I said I already did one hundred one or a dunze in the two hundred one. One hundred one or a dunze in the two hundred one. One hundred one. Yeah, it's still one on one for me. Caleb's him. Well, and the Caleb's reason I say the, can I, the reason I say that is I think Nathan, you know your league economy better than anybody, and I think that if your league economy is like wide receiver crazed, that's the way I kind of view this in certain economies. And if that's the case, I'm not telling you you have to, you have to take Marv there, right? But I'm just saying I I think there's certain markets where Marv is going to move like a ridiculously liquid asset. So um, I think by and large, in a start 11 league, the way I play, I'd probably consider the Adunes and the 201. Um, but I just, I, I think it depends on my league economy. If I know people are just ridiculous out out their ass for fucking CD, Chase, Jefferson, I feel like Marv for a lot of those leagues might trade for astronomical prices. I can get more from this later is what I'm trying to say. That's the only sure. way out. That's the only way I would probably stay on that Marv side personally. But um, kind of back to I'm the at. original question you asked Maddie, but you didn't ask me, man. My guy. Well, I was going to get there, the but we had a for. super chat. Please, I got please, you. Please, please. Lad. Is it? Lad. Uh, is it? Okay, I, it's going to be Lad. We've had some content. I didn't realize that Lad is the new. Okay, tell me. Lad's Give it my to dude, me. man. And, and I can't even say my dude. This shouts out Felix Sharp from Campus Canton pushed this shit a long time ago and i was probably one of the guys that looked at him side-eyed like what the fuck are you talking about lad mccockty this slow ass white slot receiver right put him in that bucket uh my apologies lad my apologies felix i was not aware of your game lad go check out the film how he runs routes how he wins on the outside stop with the slot bullshit all right you're being idiots pigeonholing him in the slot ran 70 percent of his routes from the outside not the damn slot Right. And 
sub 4-4 speed from Lynn McConkey. Throw that Hunter Renfro shit out the fucking window. Wes Welker, done. Cooper Cup, done. This is an outside vertical threat. Now, you do have some questions why they didn't use him downfield, but it's also Georgia, and I have questions why the fuck he was only playing like 50% of the snaps. But Lad showed out at the combine, showed out in the routes, shows out in the film when he's actually on the field and playing, shows out analytically, especially if you look at yards per route run. Mm-hmm. Absolute monster. So I'm going to pound the table for Lad. It's going to make some team very happy. If it is at the back end of the first round, good on them for doing their homework. If it's the beginning of the second round, holy shit. Could you imagine Bryce Young with Lad McConkney as his number one wide receiver? Oh, fucking good for Bryce. Good for Lad. Let's go. <laughs> Replace Adam Thielen with Lad McConkney. Sign me up. I mean, to the moon. yeah, that would be, that would be nice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm in on Lad. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm got, it's like Noah Fant, you know, I'll be here till I die. It's Keon. Um, it's a, call me boring call me you know vanilla I like the Keon one right because that's not popular even to say even I have succumbed to like the uh, maybe these people are right and Adam you're standing firm and I love it here's what I'll say though the, the only difference is I know that he's polarizing so I have him in my tiers I rank him appropriately I'm going to draft him appropriately because I know I'm already going to get too much of him like people there's a lot of people that hate him so um but I just know the value insulation isn't there with him. He, if he has a slow start in his rookie year, he doesn't do well early, people are going to come screaming how we've been telling you so on Keon, right? There, there's certain guys you can just feel that's polarizing the community, and you got to be careful how much exposure you have because I've had a lot of exposure to those guys, and it tends to go really bad. So um, I know how that goes. And truthfully, this might be the preferred route for a guy like Keon Coleman. Like, let's – Let's get that price down a bit so that the risk is a little bit uh, l- less there. I, if you I had think... to waste a, a top end pick on him, yeah, it can get it can get a little squirrely. But if you have if you have the ability to take him to two hundred four, I can assure you the NFL is not on, is not as down on Keon Coleman as the the Twitter community is or the draft community is. Well, well I let, think let, oh, let me ahead. just throw a name out there for you boys, right? For the whole community. Okay. Yeah. To Maddie's point, I fucking love this guy coming out but the community was down on him the nfl ended up being a little bit down on him he slipped and he went to a perfect situation t higgins t higgins people and people kind of weren't they didn't want to buy all the way in even though he did get a bump right when he went to cincy um yeah i i think that uh he was an early second round pick the earliest you could be the 201 but 64 216 what was this 40 459 how much difference is four five nine from four six one? A lot. You see how people are mad? They're mad. <laughs> yeah, right, four, six, Walmart one. discount. Right? Everyone loves that. That they want it to be four four nine instead of four five zero. They want that. They need it. The, uh, also, I uh, the uh, the unofficial versus the official. Like, remember, people were basically saying he got four six five, and then the unofficial came in at four six one. So, it which is might. wild. Four four ticks is a bit for for yeah. unofficial to official. For sure. I think uh, you know it's. I understand. Um, I just want. I just wanted to, to mark uh, or kind of like make mention of some prices that are shifting on keep trade cut from like before the combine. So Xavier Worthy's at wide receiver thirty nine, which isn't much of a shift actually, given his four two one uh, setting the world on fire. Troy Franklin's actually down. Um, he is now wide receiver forty two and was thirty seven. So that's probably about right. He wasn't. I don't think he was as big of a loser as the perception. But this again is perception. So perception's reality. Uh, Adnai Mitchell is up to frickin' wide receiver forty-five. Um, he was at fifties in the fifties, fifty-two. So I think that steam is only going to keep going. But the reason I wanted to get to it, Lad McConkey was in the sixties, and I'm curious where he's at. Where is he at? Fifty-three. He's so he's up almost ten spots. I think he's. Moving on up. It's. I bet you he's going to end up in top 35, 30 range for he's sure. Moving on up to a deluxe yeah. apartment on the east side. Bang. Uh, <laughs> who who goes Jefferson's? Who goes Y'all ahead? Too young for that shit. Who who goes <laughs> Keon or Lad? Do you think is going to go more often ahead of ahead of the other in in just like startups or rookie drafts? I would say Lad because Keon like just has that that four six four forty is going to stand out to everyone. Even though you're right, Adam, four six one. It's actually wrong. It's a four six one, but there that's go. what they're going to say. Four six four. Fair. Period. I, I, 
He is four, number four wearing, and he's six four. So four six four is Keon still, but he's not that slow. Oh uh, shit, D Bro's in here. Let's D go, D Bro. Uh, the toss Troy- a grenade in the hole. Hey, D Bro, let me ask you. The perception is dumb. I mean, that's fair. Uh, where are you at with um with Keon? I know, I know, you're not buying into the Adonai hype. Um, I'm curious. I don't know if I've seen your Keon take, which is probably. I probably I'd have. love it too. Derek Derek Brown, by the way, while he gets there. Oh wow. When he This what? is strong. I love this. <laughs> this, is, this when when he comes much. in, he lets his presence be known. You know, it's like a... <laughs> Listen, man, I love I love Derek Brown too, because uh, you know, I put the Ad and I Mitchell thing out. I know Matty, you're a fan of him, but I was like, Man, he absolutely killed it in the drills and then absolutely tanked all hype I had. No, I didn't even think I said I just just tanked all hype. With his on the field stuff, like his on the field was fucking disgusting. It was terrible drops, terrible route running, looked horrible. I already had questions coming in, but I was like, God, I'm glad he ran fast and jumped high. Like that's awesome. Derek came in and I think he said like he's not good or something like that. And then like people were calling him out, and I liked like Derek just ex- exits chat left. <laughs> he's like, it's all you, Mike. You respond to these fucks. <laughs> So I'm out here like pulling stats, like putting up yards per route run, like this kind of stuff, PFF receiving grade, people calling me an idiot, you're nuts, watch the tape, yada, 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 you don't know what you're doing. I was just like, I love it, Derek. Just drop this fucking nuke on my feed and make me respond to it while he puts it on mute. What a gangster move, man. What a pro's pro. I love you, Derek. You're a fucking legend for that. Yeah, it sounds exactly like D, bro. I mean, I, <laughs> that's fucking amazing. I love the guy. Man. I, yeah. One day, I hope I can reciprocate. Like I really do. He is Just very limited. The community, the community limits him quite a bit. I agree. They are very down on Keon. When you say limited, like uh, you talking like kind of like Russ, unlimited. You gotta be unlimited. Away. What's it? What's the limited part of his game? Or what? What's he limited to? I guess. What is uh? What do you or what do you mean by this? I'm expand. Give me the D bro take. I know you're doing it. I know you're trying to be, you know, soft around me. Just just tell me how it is. Rip it off. Rip the band aid off. Come on. I gotta know what he's at on the dog scale. Well, got that the, dog in him. Don't don't no, play with the dog. No dog. Don't 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 okay. play with the dog. You could say he's limited, <laughs> but don't don't besmirch the name. Hey, he's got he's got that way, dog. Speaking of him. dogs, shout out to Fizzle. He okay. just got a dog today. I got off the phone with him right before we got on. How did you not lead off with that? That's awesome. What kind of dog? Um, miniature poodle. Baby poodle. I might Ooh. be getting there. Some poodle. Really? But it's, okay. Like it, it's got a small thing attached to it, whatever that means. Fizzle. A miniature poodle. It's got a small poodle? thing attached. You could have given me 16 <laughs> guesses. I would not have done that. I'm just saying. I had to call Fizz because a little teaser. We're going to be coming out with a new show, and it's going to be fucking fantastic, and it's going to be hosted by Fizz. We're going to have like a lifestyle type like show, right? We're going to talk dynasty and talk ball. It's going to be more relaxed. It's going to be more like this setting, but ran by fizzle. Yes. So we get the fucking goat doing it, right? Like the man talking about music, oh, that's gonna be movies, fun. swag, what you're wearing, jerseys. He's a big jersey aficionado, if anyone knows fizzle. He's got like every fucking Des Bryant jersey ever even thought of. <laughs> Probably yeah, got Dez's high school jersey. He's yeah, got, he got the Ravens. He got, he's got the Ravens top, right? Does he have the Raisin Dez Bryant? He's, got, he got, the he's got the Saints. He got the Saints to give him one. How before. did he get it from the practice squad? How the hell did he get that? I don't know, but if he, Dez is like, I ain't, I ain't even got one of these. I was told, <laughs> I, yeah, I was told that I'm. He, he that signed the fucking contract. Revealed. I mean, I will guy. say that D bro, can I tell you something? And this, this uh, is this is as a friend uh, to both to both you and to Mike. That grenade is just no like it the cost you don't have a bill yet but it's coming like it'll you know hey, Mike Michael dropped that like, grenade le- later I've really been missing something but when did D Bro's avatar like lose the hat didn't it used to have a backwards hat or am I like misremember is this the Mandela effect thing is this like, is a fruit of the loom not ha- really having the cornucopia I uh, listen I I personally felt like it, I wasn't gonna ask you I didn't want to you know it. I didn't want to you know bring I him with attention to it too. but. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed that the same thing. And it's the Bernstein Bears. Is he not also the Bernstein Bears? Debra, are you on? Freaks. Wait a minute, this is crazy. LOL, Mike. Uh, hold on, let's see. Oh wait, here here's actually a question. Do you think he? Do you think people try less against white receivers so they get the explosive pop off? I I don't know how to answer that. Honestly, I don't think so. 
I would say no. People nope, try but... less against, like, the cornerbacks try less. Like, we all have our, our biases, but I would assume if you're in that position, you know, <clears throat> like, I've heard it on a playing field before, whether it's college football, high school, whatever, like, I, I ain't letting this white boy beat me. I just think that's <laughs> like why I've they call him, that I, I think that's like... why they call him sneaky athletic, because if they do beat, he's like, man, he's, right. that's sneaky athleticism. I'm like, man, I didn't even he see that. Sammy lulled me to sleep with how smooth he is. <laughs> High yeah. IQ guy. A real gym rat. Debro didn't actually confirm anything. He just <laughs> laughing his ass off. Um, what Wait, the he fuck? He did say Keon's route tree is limited. His route running lacks nuance. I think t Rock asked a question that I decided I didn't want to ask on set. I, I started to not. Um, but I don't know. It's t Rock, <laughs> Listen, man. Okay. I'm, I've been rocking the Garrison Brothers. Shout out again to our guy Walrus who's been on here before. Love that guy. Uh, hooked us up with a bottle, so. It's only right that I uh, Debro good in the bourbon. Debro good for you, yeah, by the Wallace, way. You know, me up like with a bottle. I got a whole bar down here. I need a little, I need a little, little bottle. A little bottle. Maddie once water. upon a time, remember the first expo? He hooked me up with some Jack Daniels Black Label. Yes. Really? Wait, I, that yes, sounds right. I did you have know. some, Mike? I thought you weren't drinking it though. I, I did. I didn't drink. Okay. It. Okay. <laughs> I, I, all right. <laughs> I was gonna say because there was too much booze there that the, the, at the, Dude, the cabin. It was that, that was cabin actually no insane. No TVs. There was, was in, bourbon. There was that, literally. That was why I was it like, was ridiculous. I'm no bourbon, no whiskey. Couldn't do it. I'm expanding my palate, man. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Adam's it's fully nice. converting me. I feel like you just gotta beat your taste buds. Debra, I feel like this could apply to so much about tonight. I don't really know what it the specifically is about. That's what I mean. AMA. It's an AMA. Sense about it. I, I know. We, do, we, uh, we agree. On fields, if any teams Adam actually Mike wanted. Argue. What? Yeah, true. Adam it, it, Mike it, argue. I mean, it can make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. A lot of times it, it makes zero sense. Uh, if any teams actually wanted him as their starter, a trade would be done by now. Why? Do they have to? But I mean, why would it be done by now? What if they're trying to slow yeah. play? Like, you know, they get their best deal. Right. There's just too many options. The combine is where a lot of these, the frameworks. The exchanges start, right? right. And we saw I that like kind of happen with Fields. The, the 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 betting odds for him being a Falcon went to minus four twenty five. It's back up plus money, uh, mainly because that Justin Fields video where everyone heard him say "I'm going home." I guess was like six years ago or something like that. Diane, uh, I heard that uh, Diana Rossini said that today on Pardon My Take. So it's like. Uh, you know that's just the season. This is the season. They're not making. They don't have to make a trade right now. If it's Atlanta, they're gonna they're gonna kick all the tires. They're gonna talk to Kurt's people. <laughs> they're gonna see what they what it's gonna cost to get in the top three. It, all these teams are gonna do all their due diligence. They're not just gonna be like Fields. Yeah, he's good. Let's just uh, let's let's lock it in. They're gonna do their but, due diligence. Yeah, well, like what's what's the rush though? Like it's you know, no, they, they, there's there's not a free rush. the market could come down on them. Yeah, there may not be I mean. a market there. So wait, but let me let me just finish the rest. So I'm thinking bet on a team like Baltimore or Philly to bring him on as a bat. Adam, I feel like I don't know what to say to this right now, so I'm just not going to say oh, anything. Did he just do Adam's <laughs> dirty for, across the planet? Do you feel do you feel no, like you don't want I, to claim this, Adam? Adam, this is Adam C. You know, you have the one A, one B, one C. This is Adam C. <laughs> Get that D bro comment on there. Get that Chris Sims Debro comment on there, and this is why this is my guy forever and always. Fade his rankings in any type uh, of analysis. I, thank you. That's, I said that's a, it's the shitter material, but the difference is you you leave it where you know you, you took the shit. That's the. I usually know. try to be nice, but that dude's a fucking clown. Well, hold on. He doesn't. Hey, that's the whole pro football talk is just a fucking <laughs> joke. Nice. It's a shit show, <laughs> a fucking trash. All right. It starts at the top. And it just Chris I think Sims to, has morphed let, into. You need what to let this out. This has it. been kind of. I understand you're mad at me. I know it's Sims. Just let it out. Let it out. Like this needs Listen, to happen. Man, I, no, seriously, let it happen. Bad shit needs to be. See? Bad shit needs to be called out. It really does. It does. Because people go on believing this shit, and then people come to me with this. Did you see his rankings? I don't give a fuck. They're trash. They're junk. Mike, can I tell you something? Like I, I had some DMs that felt similar this year. Um about a turdy and I, you it, they provide no context to him either they're just doing them for clicks no i think context. i think that's the problem for a guy that like is in the is in the space that sims is and should be way knowledgeable about the situation is it feels like there's nowhere near 
enough real context to why he'll put somebody at a certain spot when he goes in these hate rants. But you might as well just go to Australia to a guy who's never seen an NFL football game in his entire life and ask him to rank the quarterbacks. Here's six guys, put them in order. I don't know. Fuck this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Why? I don't know. Never seen a game. Same fucking analysis Chris Sims is given. Will there be oh, this is actually Trevor? This is a, I like the way that yes. it's worded. I love a thousand percent. I love lamp. I love I'm lamp. in. <laughs> yeah. Will, will the sun come up tomorrow? Same answer. Yes. Maddie, have you seen Dune yet? So you can answer. Well, Dune too, but um, see, no, th- I this haven't. Is, oh, I you haven't seen, seen Dune, the first Dune. one. I need to get on my Dune shit and sneak off to the sneak off to the movie theater where the wife and kids are out, so I can watch a two and a half hour movie by myself. See, I would have watched it. Ain't this no way I'm getting weekend. my little kids going to do it. Who I would have watched it? This I would have watched it this past weekend, but I was too busy watching Rome a Dune Zay. Wow. <laughs> Mic drop that didn't drop. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I feel like that. I feel like show. you very what the fuck much. Am I, even supposed to say after that? I feel like that was absolutely like that gif. You see the gif where he's like, you, you can't see it because it's a gif, but that screaming, screeching laugh. Uh, I just want to be fucking Jay Jackson when I grow up. All right. And if you know, you know. If you know who Jay Jackson is, you know he's a legend. Well, what's crazy is I feel like I feel like this is one of the only times Jay Jay's normally here on AMA and Mike's shouting him out as a legend and he's not here. Dang it! I'm I'm with you on that. By the way, he is legit terrible. Strays was a fire movie. Was it? Who said that? Uh, That was that was Nathan's gives giving two super chats. I I trust him in his word at this point. Here's the thing: Do we think Kurt Kurt Ben Kurt is slowly morphing into Chris Sims? Because I've seen his hot takes. Um, prob- he loves I, check down Bo Nix. Maddie, just don't order the popcorn. Uh, no, I want the popcorn container. No popcorn, extra butter. I think Nathan, Nathan oh, has his Nathan's <laughs> last comment is in a super chat, but it's I think he's on to something here. Yes. <laughs> no question, but yes, <laughs> agreed. Yes, legendary. <laughs> oh my lord. Yes. Good joke. Um, Sims had Kellen Mond over Fields. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. He also had Hendon Hooker over Anthony Richardson last year. I don't think there was. Wasn't Zach Wilson his number one quarterback of that class? Last five, last five to ten years, guys. Last five to ten years. Give me a more internal, like, just absolute go at somebody's throat than that comment to uh, Kellen Mond. I've seen, I see enough of him. Uh, that's probably top. I think it it's wins. It's going to be tough. Yeah. yeah, I think it wins. Chris Sims at one point, didn't he have uh, Jalen Hurts as like QB 32? What do you mean at one point? NFL. Okay, he still does. He <laughs> no, he, I, I don't know where he has him, but he still hates him. He's got him really, really low. He's still fucking. I'm but he, sure but, he's got Bryce Young over him on his latest. But now, you know, he's sitting on his high horse. He's going to say he's one and six the last few weeks. He's going to ride this narrative for months. Shut the, shut the fuck up forever, Chris Sims. Now he, he's just Kyle Shanahan's Mike, best let friend. Out, just buddy. Keep riding that. I wish John Gruden would have beat the shit out of him in training camp, man. He wanted to, <laughs> but do you remember that one, that scene where he couldn't yes. even call a fucking play in the huddle and John Gruden was like, get your shit to fuck. I wish he would have just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Love you, John Gruden. <laughs> but you should have beat the shit out of Chris Sibbs. Goodness fuck gracious. Fuck that guy. Mike wanted, you, Mike, wanted you, Texas quarterback Mike wanted you canceled long before you got canceled. <laughs> Dog shit Buccaneers quarterback, dog shit NFL all quarterback. Right, He's like all the, these fucking we are, people um, who put former scout in their name. We are their definitely profile. we are definitely nearing the end of the show here. Um there's a great scene. Maddie is humping Is that right? Am I reading I think I'm drunk. It's humping it a popcorn container. Why can't I do both? Movie. Why can't I do both? You know what I mean? Why can't I do why can't I take the popcorn container? Do what I, I gotta think... do in my privacy of my own home and then go back to the movie theater and watch uh, uh, what I it's understand is an epic movie. Right. Why can't I, I have my, my cake and eat it too? I think, you know, Maddie's just reliving a pastime. Just, you know, he's doing it you know? the I mean, I do there. the similar thing with an Oculus. I didn't make you know? it. I didn't make the popcorn container, you know? I didn't make it. A little VR action. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're right in there. So, Yo, oh except my this goodness. is with sandworms, which is fine. You know, I'm not biased at all. Sandworms are okay. 
their people. Sandworms too. sounds like what you catch if you fuck that popcorn basket. As you are heading, <laughs> as you are heading out, update to warp coming in the next thirty minutes. Um, get ready. Die. Mike's a little drunk, so this can be hard, but warp your mind. Talk about Koopa firing a fucking piss missile right at the end of AMA. I love him. I know. He 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 literally, Mike, has been working on the warp this whole time. He had he fired one shot at me to let me know I'm not, you know, That's true. doing anything. And then he's like, listen, I'm basically here so that as soon as they're ready to dip, fucking Derek, we're getting Derek gets warp. Me. As a former scout. That's why I've updated my Twitter profile. D bro. Can I tell you that uh, <laughs> I've updated, Maddie? Have you seen it? I'm going to check it right now. Go look at the tagline. Check it. Tell me it's not fucking fantastic. That's much better than the Adunze joke. All right, at least I get a laugh out of that one. Mike, Mike, uh, look at nice. Mike's Mike's <laughs> the amount of <laughs> the amount of glee <laughs> coming out of Mike right now. Like the the pure joy out of this kid is it's honestly amazing. But he's yeah, also got to look good on you, Mike. He's got a little bit of anger still, though, too. Like, anytime Sims comes up, it just, boom, it's quick Bring switch. him to the expo. I'll fight him. You think I could get... <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Bring him to the expo. Listen, Go I'm trying get to get him, Sleeper. Go get Chris I'm Sims. trying to get Sleeper to change their ways on college fantasy football. We could get Chris Sims. We could start a new I, one. You know, I, day Mike, one of taking Chris Sims <laughs> until he fights Mike. Mike, I love that you think that highly of me, but I, I have a hard time getting anybody to go anywhere. All right? The only reason... It, it's just that the expo's around the corner for me. But oh, fucking Bargustus, he hit the trifecta. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> this is nice. This is he nice. Hit the Bargustus, you're not wrong, by the way. Like, you see what I mean? He needs to let it out. He's got a demon up there right now. He's got Chris Sims. He's just in his brain. Get it out. Let it go. Fucking, you fucking tell him, Nathan. That was a great joke. All right, we're done. Mike, Mike is just repeating Mike. to read the comments. Like we, it's time to go. Apparently, he's just in. Oh my God, he's drunk. Mike, what you, would happen to you? What would happen to your brain if oh, Chris, Chris Sims went brother. to the went to the, the expo, came up to you and said, "Buddy, as a former scout, Brock Purdy oh. is the greatest QB in this league." Would you sock him right in the face? Could no, you contain yeah. yourself if no, Chris Sims himself used the term as a former scout about <laughs> Brock Purdy in a glowing light? Could you contain yourself? I'd probably turn into like one of those terrible like white Karens that you see, like that just do horrible <laughs> things in grocery stores, and you're like, "What kind of person are you?" That'd be me. Like, and then I would end up looking like the asshole, but it'd be fine in my head. Like, I'd be okay. What kind? Mike of turns into a sandworm, brother. I'm honestly, I have not ever been outside of when you were almost shitting your pants. I, I have not been as happy to just sit back and just watch what Mike's like bring into this this is fantastic right now just do you keep think going, i could buddy. forcibly hold him down and like shove a 66 mil in <laughs> like enjoy the rocket chris absolutely are you kidding <laughs> me is that a serious question <laughs> to- i can take him i know I, I, I are you kidding chris dude i are, are you being serious could you hold him down and put a stop it yes i mean no no self-respecting 30 plus year old man still puts gel in their hair I think about it. Do I? No, I don't. I put a. I put pomade in my I'm, pomade. See, I. Yeah, I don't pomade. even know that I. T- you see it in the Fancy. front here, but if you, you know, like you watch the BDG streams, you get to the top of the dome. There's not much there. I, I put gel in my hair. I mean, it'd be crazy. There's like none there. Yeah. It'd be insane. Matt, you're more. You're more like Brad Pitt and in Inglorious Bastards. You know. That's true. Or, or Brad Pitt. Little pomade Fury. action. Yeah. Matt. Matt. Dude. Matt. He has a nice set of hair. Gosh. Don't. Don't I sleep do. on that. Luckily, can I tell you one of my biggest pet peeves though is like His chest hair the people the that have the great hair and it's like they're always wearing a hat. Like sh- flaunt it. Show the people. Right? It's Debo cold, took his hat man. off. Debo it's took cold. his hat off on his freaking avatar. Like let that. It's let true. the beauty out. What, 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 I'm just what, what, glad he did confirm about, though. He did used to have a. That's a fair. Hat. That's fair. But I want to see. Did used to have a hat. He took the hat off. I actually think that's kind of fire. I think it's kind of fire, and I'm I'm just surprised that Mike noticed at this state. It's pretty awesome. I'm very, very locked in. Clip it, Christian. Right. This is an epic. Like you just drop that and you just say it out loud. It just everybody knows what what we. You mean. see if Christian even listens up to this point. Kidding me? No. Listen, <laughs> he's 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 made it to this part. Is he listening? No. Come on, those are totally separate things. Oh, Christian, I, got him. I love you, buddy. But uh, I tell you what, Mike. I think it is. I mean, we have 145 people in here, so like I, I have a hard time dipping, but. You know, this time I'll let Mike get out of here. He's got to work. He doesn't have a 66. No, in. I don't. I'm on oh, you're off? 
We're just thinking about Maddie. Look at Maddie. Oh, he just I all guessed. of a sudden doesn't look very um, secure and safe anymore. You know, like, oh, shit. What did I sign up for? Dude, it's 1130. What am I going to do now? Go to bed? Like, riding. The, I, got, I got a couple sandwiches. You, you don't. You have do. no idea what you're doing right now. Like, there's. You see how serious I am? I, I, I just got. Hey, listen, guys. You let me know when I, when I have to go. I got. All I got to do is go upstairs. Take my nice popcorn bucket, put it in the microwave for about thirty seconds. And I'm ready. He already got one. one. <laughs> Mike, Mike picked, and I he picked one up at the combine before he came back. Mike and I will do things. We'll fight about things <laughs> far, dog. far more you know minimal than who can stay on a stream longer. So let's just Bro, uh, don't, don't don't don't. Make Maddie's me do got that me beat, Mike. man. I, he spent eighteen dollars on that popcorn bucket, and he's making out like a bandit. I spent one hundred and fifty <laughs> on a flashlight, and it's probably the same thing. See, this is why. Shout out Fleshlight if you want to sponsor the show. <laughs> this is why. What are you, 2020? I, I do Logan? think. Fleshlight I, sponsorships? I like what Maddie just did, though. He's <laughs> like, you know what? I, I know baby. how we can get out of here. I can get Mike going. I can get Mike really going. Mike, well, let me ask you. His, if you, if you had to get a sponsor. Player, like, Fleshlight. Well, yeah, what would you how, What would you tell them if, you, if they were listening right now? You know? If Fleshlight was listening? Yeah, like, you know. I mean, I'd sign up for OnlyFans. You could come see me use it live on air if you wanted. I'll make it cheap. 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents. I'm about that buddy, baby. I'm a hustler. <laughs> this right here is everything. <laughs> Mike is smacked. <laughs> I'll sponsor just about anything if you wanted me to. I, I can I tell you that I feel like for at one point there's no nobody doubts what Mike just said right there. Like there's no one even thinking twice. And it'll be max effort too. I'm not gonna half ass it. All right. I don't care if it's preparation. What would your What would your like? How would you sell it? Like what would your, it, not not the OnlyFans stuff. Like what would you you know what would how would you sponsor it on the on the channel? Like it's it's kind of you know risk mm. risk a. We'd we'd have a demonstration you know within taste using a cucumber or something along those lines. <laughs> Phallist shaped vegetable, a big carrot. No, it's like, cucumber. Mike, where did all my fucking cucumbers go? <laughs> I was trying to if make a salad. If you wanted a real life representation of Mike using a flashlight, it'd be like a baby carrot <laughs> with some Fle- flashlight. Flashlight. I can tell you this. You, I know you're not listening, but there's no <laughs> way that anyone on a real YouTube stream has ever talked this glowingly about flashlight for this long and no. this, and this serious. If they could use a real life model of like an ant. This is a this I is Steve has a question that, that I think people are wondering. What is that? A flashlight for ants? <laughs> it's a flashlight for, for ants. ants. <laughs> Would Mike. I sponsor a butt plug? Yes. How do you know I'm not wearing one right now, Steve? That's why I do my best work. Adam has a little app. He hits a button. All of a sudden, you see Michael. Yeah, I there's mean, a I, there's a certain city in Ohio where I saw somebody with a <laughs> a remote controlled butt plug. What what a certain, certain city? city in Ohio. Yeah, there's a certain city in Ohio that remains to be named for legal purposes. The, the that's where you draw, hold on. That's where you draw the line. Naming a city is where you draw the line. <laughs> Fleshlight <laughs> cucumbers are good, but the city? No, no, no. We can't do that. Like that's where. I'm sophisticated. I'm drinking bourbon, Adam. I love uh, Adam says end the stream, boys. Fair. Um, I think we finally made somebody <laughs> uncomfortable, which means. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it ke- it, we should keep it going, but uh, if he's uncomfortable, maybe we maybe we end it. What do you and make sure say? you check out Fizzle's lifestyle show because it's going to be probably just like this at the end. It's going to be great. You think so? <laughs> that, the, the you're, hold, you're holding Fizzle <laughs> to a crazy end. standard, man. Holy crap! Uh, I, you got to be taught. I know. Me and Fizz met in person. It gets wild, especially when we get there on Friday nights, boy. T Rock, what is <laughs> T Rock, brother? Listen. <laughs> You it come in all late it. and you just you, you drop bombs like this. This is it's hard to sign off when you're you know. See, he's wearing that sombrero in that picture, so it's probably hidden underneath. Was this the night he got really drunk when we did the uh, the auction league? Could be, could be. He got hammered that night. I, I told him. I smacked. said, "Don't." I, can I tell you? I kind of feel a little to blame. I told him. I said, "Listen, don't get too nervous. Just be yourself and don't don't think about it too much." Well, he. He took that to the uh, the utmost extreme. <laughs> he blew all that money in about four players. So uh. 
I think we'd only had maybe like one, two full rounds of the auction in the books, and T-Rock is broke already. Uh oh. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, Adam. I was gonna end it, but I'm being told that, uh, that we got to keep it going. But the butt plug T. There's an unnamed there. city. Damn, that's kind of wild. I I agree. I I think Adam's onto something. If we're gonna keep having the stream, like, like I mean. <laughs> Don't, yeah, what, save save me the morals of I can't name the city. I mean, come on. I mean, I love Bob Lung to death, but what better you know recommendation could you get for the expo than like, hey, come to Canton because there's remote control butt plugs here. That that's like the motto for that town. I think that we so can't that's talk what about. I would do. Expo twenty twenty four. Uh, you guys the butt plug took, expo twenty four. You guys took long enough. See. <laughs> See, this is the thing that you didn't know. We've been doing this so that Koopa could actually unveil multi-year warp on the show. Yeah, we're stalling That's right. for time. Right. Yeah, It's called vamping, guys. We told, vamping. We, we oh, vamping. Koopa, Koopa said I can get it ready for the start of the stream. I said, nah, don't worry. Maddie's going to be on. We'll go plenty long. You just drop it when it's ready. You know. Have I broken the fourth wall? Is that a thing? I, is that another thing that you we don't name? I don't know what your you're pants. talking about. You know, the fourth. <laughs> don't test me, Maddie. <laughs> Coop, Koopa, like uh, when I'm angry. to try to, to just to try to make this <laughs> to try to, to try to mix sanity with uh insanity go ahead and just like type in, in the comments like what multi-year warp is and see if people actually can follow it while mike's going bananas i mean it's butt plugs right that's, that's what yeah, butt plugs. <laughs> it's multi-year who do you think is like the the name brand of butt plug manufacturers? By the way, you know, like you think you think facial tissue, it's Kleenex, right? We refer yeah. to everything as Kleenex. Is there like a one hundred and one of butt plug manufacturers? An Apple, like an Apple product of butt plugs? Yeah, maybe maybe that's a that's a brand name. And there's like a dude else. dressed in all black showing off the latest innovation of butt plug technology. I mean, are you trying to, like, get another sponsorship? I can pull it up and find out if you're trying to, like, shout them out right now. I told you I shout them out. Best butt plugs of 2024. I was just going to say, hopefully my wife is Mike is, not, never Mike is going to end up. Issue, if, if, yeah. Listen, if Mike ends up dropping again, he's got a virus for whoever he's clicking on here, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, there's not a CNET article. You know, that's where I go for my best ratings, CNET. Uh, so no, a Adam. Adam e, a though, I feel like weird. Adam on the clock is uh just like having a hard time believing this is real. Smacked. <laughs> okay, Adam. so I'm seeing I'm seeing a Lilo, <laughs> a Lilo, oh. L E L O is the luxury vibrators and sex toys by a Swedish designer brand, Lilo. Ooh. I've had good results with Swedish man, straight from the uh, 66 is, milli, you know, right to the I top. I thought that was Poland. Is that Sweden now? Sweden, Poland, my no offense. Oh no. Maybe I should. If somebody done. was speaking to you in Polish versus Swedish, would you know the difference? The answer is no. We're dumb Americans. You would only know by the the the, the Wait. beautifulness of the person. Are you Swedes saying because are, be very pretty. are you saying because the, I don't the, know any other languages that they're the same? <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, could you tell the difference barring a no, Swedish person? No, I don't know either one. Like if somebody was standing outside of IKEA holding a meatball, I'd be like, "That's probably Swedish." Mike, and can if I tell you why? Was standing outside of a brat house holding a Polish sausage, I'd be like, "That guy's probably from Poland." Mike, I'm not the right person to ask because you talk English to me sometimes every day, and I don't know what you're talking about. So, like, frankly, sometimes I just I don't know what speech is. I'm just acknowledging the fact that we're idiot Americans and we couldn't tell the difference. That's true. Well, I mean, Americans by and large don't speak any other language more than like I can tell French. I can tell German. You can tell Italian. You know, if somebody speaks, I can tell whether they're from the UK or Australia. Whoa, look at this, right? Mike. Depending on the ask. The multilingual, Mike. This is... You going to start speaking in tongues? I couldn't tell you the difference between Chinese and Japanese, though. Like, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. They're well, obviously I mean, very different countries. Different different languages. Right, but how Same many... Same thing for Sweden and Poland. I wouldn't know the fucking difference. See, this, this is exactly what I wanted. Like, Koopa dropping the real nuggets, like the in-depth stuff, while it's Mike is just... Right absolutely <laughs> on a on. fucking tangent about butt plugs in swedish and poland <laughs> koopa where do the butt plugs come to play with warp you know it's combining multiple years of warp, warp together into one graph takes the average of each position each year exactly how you would expect if you've been reading warp charts you'll understand it Boom. i i, I think you, you have more confidence in me than i do frankly um it takes me a lot a lot of like watching to learn but 
Mm-hmm. I'll get there. I fuck this up all the time. But I am multilingual. For one uh, point are you? during 2020. Yeah, for one point during 2020, <laughs> I uh, signed up for, uh, what's the app? You had an app on Duolingo. Your phone. No, not Duolingo. The other one. Uh, Babbel. 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 <laughs> Babbel. I was trying to learn Russian for some stupid you, fucking reason. You babble in Russian? You, are you Judas? Sometimes. Are you a traitor? No, I'm not a traitor. I wasn't going to go over there and fight the war. So, Listen, the funny story is, how do you think Mike drinks no. as much vodka as he does? He goes straight to Russia. Das Fuchi. <laughs> das Fudanya, comrade. <laughs> Dude, I love Russian. Are man. we sure? Like, Mike, it's such yeah, a sexy you language. Sure you know you, who you're... Do you know who your business partner is here? Is he a Russian spy? Is Absolutely he, not. Is he uh, he's wanted, been, the only he, wanted, he's been to my place. I have no idea if he even lives in Iowa. Frankly, I want I wanted to go over he's to in Moscow. Moscow. <laughs> I wanted to go to Moscow. At some point. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like, why are you so tired here in Canton? It's not that far from Iowa. I, I Can, came from Mother Russia. I when mean, you say I, I, Iowa, Iowa, Iowa. when you say multilingual, uh, like components or Russian components, all made in Taiwan. Quick, quick. Quick, ask him about the Ukraine. Does he get mad about it? We'll know there. How dare Wait, you? Wait, do you hold on? Are you saying <laughs> when you say multilingual, like, are you are you saying you you really speak the language? Like you're damn near fluent. Like you're fluent? No, I didn't say I was multilingual. I just said speaking of multilingual, I tried to be. I was terrible, and I lost like interest after three months. Okay. I didn't learn a fucking thing. Really? Maybe I miss her. I, I maybe miss her. Das okay. Da. It's pretty good. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I was just really asking. Smart. I just, you know, I didn't know what, what how, how far you got along in the babbler, if you're still doing it or what. I also had, like, this urge to learn Gaelic. It's kind of a dead language. Really? Yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> or or Celtic. I'd like to learn Celtic maybe sometime. That'd be cool. Really? Yeah, that'd be fun, right? I'm I'm Irish, for fuck's sake, even though I'm not red. But Are you, are you is Irish your there. primary, uh, like? Yeah. Are you a mutt sure. or, you know? No, 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 no. Mostly Irish. If you go, okay. my my grandmother took a trip when I was probably like eight or nine over to Ireland. She brought back a, a phone book from Belfast, which is hilarious when she brought it back. Because, I mean, it's a huge one. But then you go to Crystal, and like there's like six pages of crystals in there. And you're like, fuck yeah, <laughs> Irish. Nice. And then you go, the best one that I was probably pissed off about is if you go to Mick Crystal. Same spelling, you just add the MC to the front of it. There's like fucking 10 pages of McChrystals, and I'm like, wow, my fucking ancestors fucked up. How the hell did you drop the Chris? Because Michael McChrystal sounds like a fucking awesome name. Much better. Much better. Mike McChrystal is. What a fucking gangster name right there. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. Is that is fair. Solid. Thought dude. About, Mike McChrystal I, if, is him. If I didn't have kids, I'd legally change this motherfucker tomorrow. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, no doubt. You want, you want, they, you want to be a Mick too, huh? I get you. Yeah. Listen, I got all girls, so we ain't carrying on the lineage anyway. So after they graduate or whatever, maybe we we legally change it. <laughs> do you, Do you think they would like like that though? You, you you gonna wait until like later on when they're not, or are you talking about just do it now? Nah, nah, rip nah, the, the bandaid off. Fucking minute the younger one turns eighteen, I'm moving to Arizona and changing my name to Michael McChrystal. Why you got to go to Arizona That's to do dream. it? I want to go to Arizona because they have no fucking snow. Okay, that well, you I'm wrong. I, I was just asking. Maddie's in the Northeast. You know what it's like. Fuck this winter it sucks. shit. It sucks. Dog shit. Well, he's in he's in Ohio. He freaking knows too. I mean, yeah, you yeah, act like you, you, you said it to me. You said it to me like I don't experience <laughs> yeah. snow or like something like. I didn't say it like that. I said you, you know, live in the you, Midwest. You know Cleveland, you right next to Miami. That's fair. Yeah, it is. It's. For LeBron, it was. It was, you know, there it is. There it is. Came back too. And then uh, imagine people going back think to that the we snow. have. People think we have mild summers, but everybody, you know, who's here has been to fucking Canton, Ohio, in August. It's goddamn Dude, miserable. I'll be honest with you. These comments, I don't even. I don't even know what I'm allowed or to put on the screen and what's clickable. Um, <laughs> it's a five hundred dollar deal, though. Way too much. That's true. Frankly, Cucumber I don't know like what speech cents. is. 2024 quarter of the year. I Adam, remember when I told you 2024 is our year? I it's not multilingual. It's it's multi meaning. Like it, it it encompasses a lot of different ways. It's our year. I do think though, at March 6th, that's going to be one tough one to beat. I almost, you know what? Hold on. Let me get you this. This is a uh, I learned this. I call that a screenshot, right? A little screen grab. Bam. Bing. Bing. Live. Multilingual, In- Mike. I, by the way, I Bar Gus has heard it too. I, yep, um, we got you know. See, 
multilingual Mike. I like Crystal. that. Would you? Let me ask you this then: on multilingual, you you can learn and speak, be fluent in one language. You get to pick one. That's it. Done. One language. One other language. You, I know these think they kind of. I don't know if you think they all blend together or what, but you got to pick one, <laughs> one language. Non English. Right. My, my well, you, you could pick English. Yeah. That would just be wild. Spanish, no question. Really? Okay. I've because you could use the, it more, most? To, I've been down to the Dominican, you know, Puerto Rico, you know, the Bahamas. San Juan. San Juan, yeah. Like, I've been to those uh, countries in the Caribbean. Let's just say I'm, Puerto Rico's a U.S. territory, so don't think I'm a complete fucking idiot. But uh, look at my guns, <laughs> <laughs> brother. This I, can I say I don't even know if this is trolling or if this is just being honest. But like you're getting there is snow in Arizona. Um, if you live in, a, I'm gonna live in Phoenix. Tell me the last time Phoenix got fucking snow. The minute you go, no oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> How, but actually, anyways, I don't know. Like I've been, know. I've been to Spanish-speaking countries. Cancun was awesome on our honeymoon. Uh, let's just say I really enjoy it down there uh, in Spanish-speaking territories. Uh, the entertainment is fantastic. The people are fantastic. The food is fantastic. I'd love to be, to be uh, fully uh, immersed in the linguistic ways of Spanish. Okay. Espanol. My wife uh, teaches Spanish. I know she does. She needs to teach me a thing or two. Because the only thing I really know is hola, buenos dias, buenos noches, dos margaritas, por favor. Can I? Me gusta tu culo. Ooh. A- Adam, I... Yo I, como culo. Yeah, you're not wrong, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Anybody hold on. That I, one, I, I feel exactly like this is the, the funniest comics. It's so true. <laughs> Mike McChrystal oh, 100% manages adult film actors. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, with the same exact aesthetic that Mike has currently on the podcast right I, now. I was waiting I for... I have enough chest hair for that, though. I was waiting for someone to put this out there. Like, right. Koopa's out here dropping, like, a new... <laughs> like, there's a 3.0 or whatever you want to call it for Warp, right? <laughs> But uh, this is AMA. We call it Ask Me Anything. There's not questions for like 40 minutes right now. Mike is just going and going and going, and there's a hundred and some people just like, yeah, I want to. I kind of want to watch this. Uh, keep <laughs> going, buddy. To, I don't care if he's only speaking one language or he's multilingual. I want to hear this, you know? <laughs> hey? All right. I want to know how far Flagstaff is from Phoenix. Is that like a suburb? Is that way, way north? Um, okay. Because he is said that, three feet that, of snow fell in Flagstaff, McGungle. Which yeah, I'm is with like Steve my, here. My namesake. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Uh, Koopa. Bro, way to go, Koopa. Already messing around what, with it. Be careful with that Koopa wording do? right now. What did Koopa right, do? I, don't a, talk a, about the turtle like that. Mike, I've seen Mike mess with the turtle. It's not appropriate. Um, what did Koopa started do? You the, got the, the dune bucket? The dune popcorn bucket? Is that what do, Koopa did? Did he? Did he get the sandworm? Oh, fucking Flagstaff's two hours north of fucking Phoenix. No wonder they got snow. It's like in the mountains. Fuck it's in the mountains. <laughs> it Mike's, is. Mike's a, you know, he's a, he can speak all these languages. He's a freaking geographical expert. I mean, the guy can. Exactly. What? I mean, it's, can't it's basically, it's basically in Utah, which, you know, Utah gets snow. Nobody thinks any different. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 it's a, it's a, it once was on their uh, you know right on their their little jersey right the jazz got the snow. This is such a fucking stupid name, man. How are you gonna <laughs> have a team in Utah called the Jazz? <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> well, they don't allow dance. You guys ever seen yeah. basketball? Yes. When they I talk about it in the no, beginning, it's so I haven't funny. Seen that. I feel like oh, that so sometimes funny. with Adam. Like I swear to God, you make fun of me sixteen or seventeen more times. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, you couldn't get a chick if you had a Wait. $100 bill hanging out of your zipper. I, is that a promise? <laughs> it's because you're a little bitch. I am not a little bitch. Yeah, sure but you're are. you're a piece of shit, though. <laughs> I am not a piece of shit. Yeah, but you're a little bitch. I swear to God, you guys rag on me 16 or 17 more times. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, that, that's a totally sweet bed. That's Jenkins' bed. <laughs> I, <laughs> bed is over here. Dr. Dr. B. That's I, how I feel. That's how I you, feel. Are you? Can you actually speak Spanish? I know he lives down by the border, but uh, I'm. You know. Bob Costas in base basketball is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> Fine, I'll ask a question. At a boy, Steve. There we go. Got three, five, eight in this year's draft. A rich only quarterback in a twelve team super flex best ball start ten. Top four picks. All need quarterback two. 
Oh, okay, got it. You going Marv or quarterback three at 103? Well, I know uh, Maddie's is going Rome. I'm going quarterback with the three and then hoping Rome's there at five. If you're talking about Actually, that's that true. many QB needy teams, they're gonna you're gonna see some top you know, go to the top of the draft and Rome will be there at five or Malik Neighbors. <clears throat> uh, that's what I'm and I might even try to push eight up and come away with neighbors and Rome. Yeah, I think uh Yeah, I th- I think you probably I don't know what your quarterback situation is. It sounds like a rich only quarterback in the twelve team. So why let me ask you this. Steve, you have you're saying you only have a rich, but you want to get neighbors and Marv in the 12th team. Like, why aren't you more worried about filling that quarterback, second quarterback spot? Mm. Quarterback that's my that's, wide receivers. Well, I mean, it, you know, by by and large, generically, obviously there's give or take, but like, I if you only have a rich, why do you want to get two receivers but not get a quarterback? Is I guess my question. Assume top 15 draft capital for all of them, all seven. I all mean, at three, you're three almost guaranteed to get a quarterback that's top ten. It's in them, right? J.J. McCarthy's floors Denver. I still take him over Marvin Harrison. No offense. Really? Yes. It, I oh, did be, as because you don't have a quarterback. You saying that too? Yes. Okay, but but not just that. That too. Like, I mean, we had a hell of a Jerry Judy discussion today too. Like you we see did. what the wide receiver floor is. Yep. And people will say, well, that ain't going to happen. I had this uh, debate right before we came on in uh, Prospect Talk in our Discord, Adam. I just I okay. listed out all the quarter, all the wide receiver busts uh, in the last few years. It's absolutely nuts, okay? Okay. There's Talk a reason why the hit rates for wide receivers in the first round isn't the greatest thing. It's like sub-25%. But okay. uh, how about Traylon Burks, Jahan Dotson, Jalen Rager, Quentin Johnson, Jamison Williams? Kadarius Tony, Rashad Bateman, Jerry Judy, Jalen Rager, Nikhil Harry, Corey Davis, Mike Williams, John Ross, Corey Coleman, Josh Dotson, Will Fuller, Laquan Treadwell. I let me ask you because I, I I obviously there's, I mean some of those were not even just bust they were like immediate oh, like Henry Rux that was the one that I f- forgot to. Okay, let me ask you this: of those guys you mentioned, do you think? Any of them is in the stratosphere as far as like prospect that Marv is in. Most of them, no. To okay. be completely honest, yes. Right. So I agree. You, can, with you that. can make that caveat. I'm not a fucking. No, idiot. I'm. I'm asking. I'm. I'm it's... Yep. You're fine. No, you're fine. One of the things too, like uh, it was pointed out, one of the the class 2021 has a lot of similarities to this, and they they put Jalen Waddle in. But let's not forget that in a lot of drafts, Adam, there was a question: Jalen Waddle or Rondale Moore at the time, and uh, if you picked wrong. <laughs> absolute ass now Bryce Young's a great example JSN didn't really hit number one wide receiver of the class last year mm-hmm. go look at their ADPs I think they're separated by like five picks Bryce Young was historically bad the insulation for quarterbacks is always greater talked about this with Allen last week you can point to one quarterback who didn't get a second year that just went to fucking zero and it's Josh Rosen everybody else Dwayne Haskins Daniel Jones Kenny Pickett now Mac Jones, we just saw his third year, et cetera. I went over this last week with Allen, and quarterback has the higher ceiling. Uh, Jamar Chase absolutely fucking hit, right? Like an absolute stud. CeeDee Lamb absolutely hit. But what happened when Justin Herbert at the back end at the 110, 111 hit? You're talking about a guy who's fucking 101 conversation the following year? Mm -hmm. C.J. Stroud this past year? Mm -hmm. Right? You went, oh, JSN's much safer than CJ Stroud. Which fucking one would you rather have right now? They have the higher ceiling. They have the higher floor. I'm going to default if they get the requisite draft capital always to the quarterback. Really? Just in a va- Just always? Just in a vacuum. Okay. Yep. Hit rates are better. Their year one insulation is better. Year one to year two, I mean. Always. I mean... I would say in a generic wide receiver in the first round versus a generic quarterback in the first round, I would agree with that statement. But I also think that currently wide receivers are as highly valued as they've ever been in Dynasty. And I don't think, at least as long as I've been playing, I know you've been playing longer than me. I I don't, there's Jamar Chase, there's Justin Jefferson, who wasn't that at the time, now is. Mm -hmm. But like there's really Jamar Chase is the only one I can think of that out of the gates is being highly valued as Marv is. So that that's the only thing where I think Marv has 
I think Marv is going to have the Drake London effect at at minimum. Like where he's going to get it. Man, I don't even know. The, I don't, obviously, I can't predict the future. I have no idea what he's going to do in points per game and what's going to happen. But like, I think if he was a 40 points per game in the 40s, he's going to get at least as much as Drake London has time-wise, right? Mm-hmm. That that so yeah. like to me he would be probably more in his own bucket. But I but as far as uh, g- generically like wide receiver versus quarterback, like you know standard good profile versus that I I agree with you in sediment. I do think though, Mike, quarterbacks are starting to I feel um, the community as a whole is. I'm not saying that Dr- that Bryce doesn't have insulation, but you're seeing like. Pfft, you just saw, look what you just did in that trade. One twelve and Mac Jones. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it, but like, that's a, that's a, that's a year removed from him being like the one oh two three. That's mm-hmm. crazy. That that's that's nuts. That that even could happen in one season. That 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 type of fall off could happen. He's quarterback twenty one, man. Like he's literally right now after them. You got all the quarterbacks that people are. Matt Stafford, you know Baker, Kirk. Like he he fell pretty far now. To your point, he's not out of the mix, but it's that's also bad, really bad case. Um, kind of curious what the what the chat thinks. That's like worst case scenario, right? Though. I mean, I would say obviously there's the rare example which never happens. What like you mentioned, which is like Rosen, but that's you can count those on one one. You can count those on one hand that I can recall that are that that are on one finger, right? Um, Now with Mar with Mar on one finger prospect, do you? Do you, how, how do you feel, that Adam, with that with the, yeah. the top three quarterbacks, though? So, so we're specifically talking Marv mm-hmm. and JJ, but what about Marv in comparison to Caleb, Drake, May, and Jane Daniels? Yeah, so I think this is actually a really good conversation. And I think right now, the interesting part about Caleb is like, if you tell, like, tell me right now, if you had to say between Marvin Harrison Jr., relative to the receivers, Caleb Williams, relative to all the quarterbacks and Jaden Daniels relative to all the quarterbacks in NFL and dynasty fantasy, basically forget dynasty like next year, which one do you think is likely to score like or closest to the elite tier, the like high, high end tiers of those guys relative to the field that they, that they play in their position? I would say the safer pick would definitely be Marv, right? We'd have to we'd have to say it's Marv. Marv could be Marv could push the wide receiver ranks probably safer. I don't know what to call it. It's easier. Clearer, he, he, you know you think you, you think there's a better chance that he has points per game closer to the elite guys at receiver I than would does say Caleb so. Williams does to Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, and like you know J- Jalen Hurts, right? Yeah, because look at C.J. Stroud this year. He was breaking rookie records, and at no point was he like the stone-cold, locked-in QB1 on a points-per-game basis. Right. I think he was quarterback nine, and he I think he basically broke all the rookie records for the most part. He did, um, yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, th- that I think is th- – it's that conversation for me where if you I, – I would have to still have my quarterback room probably addressed and feel good about it to do this where I'm taking Marv at, but there's, I think there's certain builds because of that, where I'd be willing to take Marv ahead of the pack. And it's also because in startups, he's already being drafted right now, by the way, startup rookie ADP reflects him being the one one He's the one, he's the one eleven ahead of Caleb now. Like he's basically drafted as Jamar chase, which is crazy. That that's, mm-hmm. we've never seen that before. I don't think I, I what, what was Jamar chase being drafted? at? I think it was like fifth round. Third round, maybe best in startups. Yeah, this guy's being drafted not, at one eleven, wide receiver no four. He's being drafted as he's a, as an elite player already. So, I think his value installations. He's being drafted for to give you context. Amon Ross St. Brown has been outrageously good. He's being drafted ahead of him, out of the box. Like that. That's wild. I think man. it speaks to the point of where how highly wide receivers valued, and how ridiculous as a prospect people believe Marv is. I mean, well, obviously to your guys' point, he will see what he does in the NFL, but that's nuts. I, I, I've never, I never thought in a million years we'd see something like this, honestly. Here's a great example though. Um, we look at it now and it's fucking asinine, but Zach Wilson and Devontae Smith, Devontae Smith, top, top pick, top 10 pick. I think he might've been 11 worst case. I don't remember exactly, but it was right around there in that trade up. Zach Wilson, the number two overall, 
horrible rookie year for Zach Wilson. Pretty good year for Devontae Smith. Remember you and I like pounding, like how the <coughs> fuck did this guy go down in value at wide receiver putting up 800, 900 yards, whatever he did his rookie year. Yeah. Went down to in, a seventh round pick. Zach bring Wilson. In a, they bring in A.J. Brown, right? Zach Wilson in startup drafts was a fifth rounder. For Future sure. Cut reflects it. Startup ADP reflects it. Zach Wilson was, you know, objectively fucking bad his rookie I, year. I, but again, I gotten better. Right. I, 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 again, I agree with most wide receiver prospects, but again, like, you know, Devontae Smith was polarizing. He was a senior coming out. People were like, he's small. There's a lot of community, uh, narratives, right? Not, not saying they're right okay. or wrong, just in general the narratives. Like he had the BMI discussions, but it's too, yeah. it's also a fucking wide receiver who just won the Heisman when it's a quarterback award. I was like, what the fuck are we doing here? No, I, I believe me, I understand. I, we we were both, uh, I think, pretty vocal about being in on Devontae Smith. I'll say this too: this is where, if I'm going to do the quarterback thing, and I'm looking for right now, I, listen, I'm not telling you Caleb Williams is a bad player. I'm not telling you that he couldn't be a very good dynasty asset, but I, I think that I think right now Jaden Daniels is probably riskier, but I think he has tremendous rushing upside. So. You could make a case for him if all things hit that he has extremely high ceiling too. But um, I don't know. I, I think Marv. I think Marv could in a, in the right situation come in as an alpha. I'm not saying he's going to produce like Jefferson and CD right away, but you know, Trey top Lane 15 did absolutely fucking nothing his rookie year, right? How far off from startup ADP was he from Jamar Chase, who absolutely smashed? For sure. I I, I also think though like. You go back and look at just reflective to that would have been twenty one draft and then twenty two season. You're talking about going into the twenty two season. Look at startups right now versus startups then, and the the red, the quarterbacks is just it's crazy how much further down it's gone. The the blue is just insane. You're talking about Mike. Just to give context, you're talking about by the six twelve, thirty one receivers are gone. Six rounds, thirty one receivers. Mm-hmm. That's like. I mean, you and I were obviously, you know, not – we never believed this day would come. We were very in on the um, running backs. But that's insane to think about. Jaden Reed, George Pickens, Brian Thomas, R- Troy Franklin right now, and the rookies being drafted are in the sixth round of startups. Bonkers. Bonkers. Absolutely crazy. To your point, like Troy Franklin, Brian, Brian Thomas maybe a little bit because he's so athletic, but – uh, Troy Franklin does not, I don't think, have guaranteed value insulation worth a six-round startup pick out of the box. Um, let's see who else is. Xavier Worthy's already in eighth round. Some of these aren't that bad, though. Keon, Keon in the ninth round makes sense to me. There's a couple that are nuts. but So right now you got Marv at 111, by the way. You got uh, Malik Neighbors at 303. I think he might end up being a second round pick by when it's all said and done, which is crazy. And then Rome's in the fourth. So you have a first, a third, and a fourth round startup pick in the rookies this year, right now. They're special. And I think I mean, that's your point. That's your yeah. point, Adam, that this is this could be, you know, three Jamar chases in terms of the <clears throat> hype as we get into the, the thick of it. Yeah, I mean, um I'm trying to think like like we really, we, I think everybody here really likes Drake London, right? As a prospect, right? Yeah. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. Do you think right now? I, I, I at least I'll come out and say what I, I, I had Marv and neighbors. I would put if I know it's revisionist history, but from what I know now and then, like just prospects, not what they become. I would have neighbors and Marv ahead of Drake London. Where are you guys at with that conversation? Like as prospects, I put all three of them ahead of Drake. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and, and to the point, like. That's where I think Drake, I think, is a, a decent example anyway where now I think you're right, Mike. He could definitely lose it all this year if he doesn't do anything. But mm-hmm. Drake London's gotten a really – I mean, it's kind of crazy how long of a leash he's already had for two years. He's still right now – where is he? I'm trying to find out what keep Drake cut. It's actually harder than I thought. Oh, uh, here he is. Why is he 15? He's – I mean, done. To your point, Devonte Devonte Smith has destroyed like points per game where he's been at. But people are just in, and I think the prospects of those guys, I think, gives value insulation to them, regardless of what happens for at least like a year. I think that's the difference: is they're the way they're viewed in the community, and the way the community views receivers right now is where those guys are different. But when we start getting outside of that, like 
realm of tier guys, which it's just nuts we have three of them in this class. When you get to Brian Thomas Jr. even, when you get to um, – Let's see what one of them we're just talking about. When you get to any of those other receivers in this class, um, why can I not think of their freaking names right now? I'm literally Xavier Worthy is four two one. Any of these other guys, like I don't think that the community and to the point you're making, Mike, you could see their value deteriorate fast. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens and where they end up going in, in rookie drafts. My only pushback has always just been the depth of wide receivers coming in like we're talking about Keon Coleman for me as the 10th best wide receiver and then I can name you six other guys after him where I go man this guy could hit this guy could hit you get the surprises like Tank Dell too last year Puka Nakua all of a sudden elevated up at what point though like are you looking at a wide receiver who's in the 50s and going like we're at it already to be completely honest fuck I really like this guy but like how much higher can I move him because everybody else is really good above him then you got 2025 coming in, like that's where I'm at with Drake London. It's like you're getting an Evan Stewart, you're getting a Luther Burden, right? Those are two guys I can name you off that would rank very, very high in this class as well. Now, I don't think they're in the Roma Dunze tier, but, you know, they also have one less year on the, the fucking field, right? Like they have a, their true junior years to go out and actually smash and put up numbers, and then we could have that conversation. And then we haven't even hit the guys who, like, have come afterwards. So it's just tough. It's tough when you talk about wide receivers. Like, we're so finicky anymore, and it just becomes more finicky every single year as you keep adding those in. Yeah, I think, though, like, Mike, to your point, the depth. Love it, T-Rock. It's great. Animal. <laughs> That's why I put it right up. Oh, hold on, question. Let me get to this question. I'm going to get back to that point, by the way. Get, get one question, let's bounce out of here. All right, right fair enough. Held fair Maddie enough. long enough. He's got a popcorn bucket to get Ma- to, boy. Yeah, Maddie looks like, all right, I, I, I played along, but um, what are we doing here? Uh, question. Matt, you guys talking? I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. Let's do it till two. No, I'm just kidding. Don't. Well, you sure? <laughs> when when going through your personal rookie drafts, how much are you weighing warp charts when moving positions up and down to determine who you're taking between quarterback, wide receiver, Bowers this year? Quite a bit. <clears throat> See, icing on the cake, right? When we have this quarterback, wide receiver talk, if I go look at it and wide receivers aren't absolutely killing in warp, then why the fuck am I taking Marvin Harrison Jr.? I can love him to death, but <clears throat> wouldn't I want to shoot for the maximum upside of a J.J. McCarthy in that situation, hypothetically speaking? Tight ends, Adam and I buried tight ends, but there is leagues, right? We I do know of one specifically. There's a lot shit. of shit people in it. Yeah, man. You the look three, at the, it and you the, go, the three point per catch. You look at it and you go, Brock Bowers should be in fucking conversation as a top three pick in this league, even though I hate tight ends. Mm-hmm. That factors into it quite a bit. Yep. Uh, one of the things that Koopa can probably acknowledge that you know we. By the like way, to Koopa puts up end. here a lot. Well, Mike, yeah. Mike, and I agree. But if you didn't know, uh, he now you know Koopa <laughs> says a lot. Yeah, they hammer. But uh, one of the things we'd like to see too is uh, you know Scott Connor dabbled in this, but we'd actually like to see it on a league specific venue going forward, an actual visual. What's the actual warp of a rookie pick at given points? Don't spoil it. It's coming. It's coming. Just it's saying. Coming. It's well. It's gonna be something else that's going to factor in. It's coming. It's uh. That's that will be one of those things you can theorize, right? Like Mike, we're we're theorizing value insulation. I feel like I have a good handle, and you do too. But we're theorizing rookie pick value warp. Not going to be a theory anymore. Well, it's it's also too like you wouldn't go through and do a startup draft without. At least I wouldn't look at what the warp is of the league. Otherwise, you feel like you're drafting blind. Like, I don't even know what the fuck's really valuable in here. I think I got a handle. Mm. Then we find out we're completely wrong. We did it on the trade show, mm. right? We got the format th- today, Adam. We had a trade come in. You're like, okay, I think I know what the handle is. I'm kind of this opinion. <clears throat> you pull up the warp chart, and all of a sudden I go, Jesus Christ, I was completely wrong. No, can, I want can, the fucking other side. No question I, about it. Can I tell you with this question specifically, though, uh, McGungle? See, the 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 wording and the phrase specifically changes a little bit for me. I'm sorry, Maddie just leaned back like, come on, I was out of here, dog. We were we were right no, there. No, 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 I'm just, I leaned I'm back because I actually burped. Lean I'm back. Not, um, do, well, on the mic. Mike can smell it from, you know, Russia or wherever he is. Um, the one thing, he says rookie drafts, okay? And I think it's important to distinguish this for me in the way that I, I play it. If I'm in a startup draft and I don't, have a great handle on how my league mates are like if i'm not in multiple leagues with them or i don't feel good about their like my reading the room yet i'm very heavily using warp almost to like i don't know the market of this league yet 
So how could I really try to dictate what that is? When you're talking rookie drafts, you probably at that point, unless you're, I hate this, Mike, tell me you're on a, in agreement. Like put the rookies in the startup. Don't tell me you're doing a startup with rookie draft after. I don't, I don't want to ever do that personally. So unless you're using kickers as placeholders, that's fine. But if it's in the startup is what I'm saying, right? Like that's fine. If you're doing that, if this is a rookie draft in a league that's already existing and you have a very good handle of what the economy in your league is and how your league mates trade, that's going to factor in just as much to me as warp. Now, ultimately when I go to set my lineup and where I'm trying to get my team to warp is what I'm using. But if warp says one thing, like if warp says wide receivers are a little ahead of quarterbacks, let's say for, for example, I would lean that. But if I know in my market that if I take two quarterbacks that I can flip them for a, a haul, I, it will outweigh warp if that makes sense. So the rookie draft here, the reason I wanted to bring that up is because if you know your league, that's going to play just as much, if not more into it for me. Yeah. And I'm not going to say I, I disagree with you at all, Adam. It's just, this is where Adam and I do have a dividing line and it just happens to be Matty Q as the visual in between us too. Good thing. Is that you're, you're very about knowing your league market and value and I'm also thinking from a portfolio standpoint where I don't really give a fuck what my league values, right? Like, I set the market in my league, and if you don't like it, that's fine. Like, then we're not going to make a deal. <clears throat> You're more personalized. I'm thinking more big term. How many Bryce Young shares can I get for the 111? Right. right? Yeah. I'm not thinking about does this league value Bryce Young or not. I don't give a shit. I'm sending out the fucking offer anyways. <laughs> like, I don't care what Steve over there thinks. No, oh, sure, but I mean. Biggest Bryce Young well, fan you know, Steve. ever. Dude, I'm still sending Steve. it out. Worst thing he does is decline it for me. Sure. So. Yeah, send out I'm all offers you want. But if you know the market wouldn't – and you know that you can send out offers that are going to get more accepted more often for Marv, you take Marv, right? Yes, if you have that time. Right, that's what I'm saying. It. Yep, yep. Oh, you mean to go, to go through and see like this uh, – I got you. To differentiate the market enough to know that on the pick selection. Makes sense. Correct. I, I think the other thing for me too – well, that's a totally different discussion. It's We're way long into this. Yes. Two and a half hours in. Let me get out of here. Maddie. All you guys, Matt, Maddie, Kiwoom, double tap. We double tap Maddie at minimum tonight. Um, two and a half hours we double tap this man for. Maddie. We got to tell do the it, people. So we do, we tell do the people it. where they can find you. Plug the Patreon. Other than here, the we have a hostage. Yeah, we have the Where they can find here. me is uh, at the crib with my Dune popcorn bucket. Just living life. Make that your fucking Twitter <laughs> bio, please. Please. <laughs> No, you can find your, me on change X your, at Maddie Change your profile pic to that fucking bucket. <laughs> Some heart emojis around it. You can get me on X at Santa Maddie Kiwoom, play at profile.com, mock 3.0 is on its way. Uh, got a bunch of stuff going on yeah. the game plan, trade gods, blue chips, the hurdle, my man Cody Carpentier, the fantasy football, oh, the executives of fantasy football, YouTube, uh, and patreon.com, patreon.com forward slash executives. The executives always doing it professionally in style. We appreciate you, Maddie. Um, I don't. No, I think the streams already let you know they they appreciate you more than well, we one ever last thing, could. Speaking but. of the executives too, like I don't have contact with Death Dealers who won the first inaugural South Harmon vs. Executives, oh. but trust me, there is a trophy in the works. I got a local guy making it. It's like a Super Bowl esque trophy. Local from it's where? Hell his, yeah. It's gonna have his name on it. Uh, fuck from you, Russia. Adam. It's Moscow. Yeah, see, it's you, you see, you, know it's good. He, you get him on here long enough, and the truth comes out. It's made with. You just ask him a simple question. A fuck you, Adam. So uh, on that note, uh, yeah, I'm excited for the. I'm excited for the trophy, which uh, Mike will tell you that I should be the one that's upset about losing the trophy because I didn't try. Well, he tried and still lost. So who's worse off? Um, you tell well, us. Doing leave it in the comments. At the expo. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, because there's there's, there's there's cowardice, and there's like I tried. So that means I don't have to eat a chip? Well, that's okay. You, know. you didn't even do anything. You had Cam Akers still on your roster at the end of the year. The guy tore his Achilles. At like, and my two. team and your team did what? Lose. You still, like, <laughs> you you tried and lost, so now I don't have to eat a chip because I tried? What, do you want a participation were, trophy with that trophy you're getting for Maddie you too? You were dead last. Just like we will Jerry see you Jews back argument. here, same time, same dead place. And in South Harmon, we don't reward Trash. anything but winning. The participation bullshit, we're out of here. We Adam love y'all. Jerry Judy ATM. <laughs> yeah, because Clyde Edwards Hilaire went ahead of Jonathan Taylor every draft. Did, yeah, did. Enough he said. Did, love y'all. Peace. He didn't.